sit, do not sit, you are still young, it's still early. Praise the Lord! Amen. No, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord! Amen? I one, two, three. Missions, 
Yes. How many have went for a mission since we started? How many? God bless you. How many supported a girl? Okay. Uh, the main purpose God created you in this earth was to draw men to his kingdom. And that is the main the first main purpose. Not to bring up your daughter, not to bring up your son. The first mission was to draw, was to draw men to be fishers of men. And the Bible says, uh, I have so many work in my vineyard, but I do not have laborers. And the squeaks and wait, this is a challenge to you. The Bible says, go ye, go ye and speak of my name. Go ye and speak of my works and my glory. And so you should be a missionary. You should, uh, you should uh, give yourself, commit yourself to serve God. I want you to challenge you with two verses. Matthew 24, verse 14. It says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And it is you to preach. It is not God. It is you to preach. So she, he, he has brought you onto this world. So it is for you to go and reach many nations. And sometimes I, as I was uh, meditating about this world, I was asking myself, when you people don't come for a nation, and when you are praying, you tell God that I put a full armor of God. How many know the full armor of God? The full armor of God. There are his feet to take me to spread the gospel of God. So when, when Satan, when you bring your petition before God, Satan is the accuser. And then he will ask God, huh? now you want to fight for this girl. She is saying, I have put the whole armor. Yet she doesn't preach the word of God. You see? And then you will stay in that wilderness till you rectify your, till you rectify your ways. So let us be missionaries. Mine is to come here and encourage you. Let's come out. Let's go for missions. Let's go reach those women in hospitals, in maternity wards. Let's go to that farthest end of Kenya. Let's go outside Kenya to preach the word of God. And when you go before God, because one promise of a missionary is that I shall be with you. That is the promise. If you go and preach the word, I shall be with you till the end till the end. So you shall not be met with so many afflictions and when they come, God will raise a standard for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So we have started missions every second Saturday of the month. Every second Saturday of the month, we go for hospital missions. How many will join us next Saturday? How many? Please commit yourself and you can do missionaries in two ways. You can be a missionary in two ways. One, physically being there. And two, using your resources. Yes, sure. So if you are not coming for mission, make sure you send something. Tell God, tell God, I submit these hundred shillings. If they are going for hospital missions, we go with, with fruits. Let you be a partaker. You have preached the word of God through your, resor yes. your resources. Yes. The, the, the disciples, the, the early church, we call it the early church. The early church, the disciples used to sell their things, their, their wealth to support the gospel. So if you are not going, can I see your 50 shillings? Can I see your 100 shillings? You have gone for a mission. It doesn't matter how much. What matters is your heart. Even if it is 50 pop, what matters is your heart? It's your heart. So support missionaries, support mission. Support Queen's Prayer Movement as we preach, as we uh, go to the farthest end of the world, because we are going to the world. We are going to the world. Be a partaker. Be a partaker. Be a partaker. And the other verse is Matthew. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. And says, And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore. You have been given the power and the authority. I'm not a preacher or I'm not what. 
You have been given authority, according to Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 10. You have been given authority and power. So you can storm into that hospital and heal the sick. You can go to that church and preach the word of God. Because the Bible says that what you desire is what I give you. If you desire to preach the word of God, the Holy Spirit will give you the power and authority. He will give you the utterances. He will give you what you will tell those people in front of you. So go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe uh, all that I have commanded you. Do you know what God has commanded us? The Ten Commandments. Do you know them? God has given you commandments, yeah? So it is you to go all the nations and teach. Teach them what I have commanded you, the Ten Commandments. Uh, and behold, this now is the promise. I am with you always. Can you go to preach the nation and you are house be locked? When God has promised, he shall be with you? No, no, no. When you go to preach to Kakamega, and you remind God. God, you told me, I go preach. I go be a fish of man, and you shall be with me. I need your encounter right now, and it is, you shall see God. So every second Saturday of the month, we are going for missions. Then you shall be communicated. And kindly, if you would come physically, support a girl child. Support a girl and support the mission. Be blessed. Amen. 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 Let's start for Benina. Wow. God bless you, Benina. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord grace you more. Missions are powerful. Ask those who have gone for missions and they will give you testimonies. Amen. 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 So we are, it's time for announcements. More announcements. We have more announcements, and before we begin, we have a very special one called Welfare, and I want to invite Catherine Wanjiko from Thika to come and talk to us about Welfare briefly as she gives us her contacts. Let's clap for our beautiful queen. Let's clap for her until she arrives here. Look at her now, our own Catherine from Thika. People from Thika, here is your admin, Thika Fellowship. Welcome, Catherine. Praise God. Amen. Praise God once again. Amen. This is called surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you very much. Uh, as Queen's uh, Prayer Movement, we have a welfare. And it kicked off in March. We are, uh, as a, us as admins and coordinators, we were the first members. For you to join, we require you to uh, give 500 shillings. That is the reg registration amount. 500 shillings for promoter yes then after that every month we shall be giving 200 shillings that is our contributions it caters for a loss of a member or a loved one that is the family nuclear family the spouse and uh, the children as well as uh, a parent that is the queen's parents are catered for in this welfare all right it also caters for for um weddings that is official weddings that is an ag or a church wedding and also caters for illness and in this case we call critical illness we encourage you as uh, queens to uh, to engage with us to contribute to become a member this is because uh, we need to be there for each one and every one of us demise and happiness are things we cannot control loss of a member is a very painful thing and as much as I'm with you in prayer and uh, physically, also there is uh, somewhere that that amount will assist you cater for something, all right? So let's come together as queens and, uh, and build this welfare. This is what uh, we call as togetherness. Hatukuti pamoja because of only prayer. Yes, we started with prayer. We have learned it. Yes, we have gone to the Dorcas basket. We have grown it, isn't it? Now we are going to ourselves as welfare. And for you to be a, to be a member, you must join a fellowship. All right? Because I will get your contribution and your faults through the admin. All right? So if you have not joined a fellowship, please join one near you. If you have not formed one, I believe where two or three are gathered, God is there. So you can also start one. All right? Uh, the forms are present online. 
Uh, your admins have the forms, the registration forms. Please do see your admin. And uh, the funds are received to 0724. 24 again, 7431. I repeat, my contact is 0724. 247431. Once you send your contribution, I'll reach out to you and then I uh, will organize how I receive the registration forms so that you can join fellowship. Ah, welfare, sorry for that. So that you can join QPM welfare. All right, in case of any questions, I'm at the back. You can see me and you can discuss more. Thank you very much. Wow, great. Jump for kids. God bless you, Kate, our own Kate from Thika. People from Thika and its environs, there goes your admin. You can always contact her and join the fellowship around there. So the rest of our announcements are as follows. We have Kesha on 19th of this month at Hekima Hall. Hekima Hall is at uh, Koinange Street. It begins from 9 p.m. all the way to 4 a.m. All of you are welcome. Tell a queen, welcome to the Kesha. Does she even know there is a Kesha in QPM? Ask her, do you know there is usually a Kesha? A very powerful one. Have you ever attended? Ask her, have you ever attended one? Oh my, why? Why? Why haven't you attended one? What is that reason you're giving God? Take care. Take care of that reason that you are, that is blocking you from attending the Kesha, the missions, and so on. God is watching. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, we have the Queen's Prayer Movement merchandise that uh, we sell around here. We have the magazines. Magazines. Kindly, Hadija has the magazines. See Hadija. Each goes for 300 shillings. We also have calendars. We have calendars. Lydia sell to our people calendars. Each calendar goes for 200 shillings. Each of the notebook goes for 150 shillings. We also have a bayro, bayro pens. Each goes for 30 shillings. There are our ashes. Kindly contact them. We also have QPM t-shirts. They are purple in color with our logo and uh, you know, the name of the ministry and the name of your fellowship at the back or the name of what you do. Like mine is written Asha at the back. So if you are a praise and worship, it can be written praise and worship at the back. So each goes for 500 shillings. Make sure you get one. Then every uh, uh, every time you are going for missions, we are required to wear the QPM t-shirts. So it is very important to have yourself one. Layers with our ushering desk behind there. And they organize for one. We also have hoods. Hoods. Very pretty ones. I think one time I'll come with my hood. She, for them to see, hood is a very warm, like a sweater. It, with her, it has a kofia, and then it has the name of the ministry and what you want it written at the back. Kindly get one. Each goes for 2,500. Again, I asked with the ushering desk behind there. Dorcas basket. Tell a queen, Dorcas basket. Dorcas. Which day do we give towards Dorcas basket? Tuesdays. Tuesdays, yes. What is the use of the Dorcas basket? What do we do with it? We feed the hungry. Imagine. Like today, we have food for those without. So it is all benefiting to be a queen and to be in Queen's Prayer Movement. So every Tuesday, we give towards Donker's Basket. Whatever you have, give towards Donker's Basket. And before you give, mom has taught us to do everything with understanding. Go to Psalms 41. Read verse 1, verse 2, verse 3. Internalize it. Pray with it. Then send your Dorcas basket. Then wait for the results. Praise the Lord. So you don't just do it because people are doing. Give with understanding. If you are sick, with the giving of the Dorcas basket, Psalms 41 verse 3 has covered you. If you are in trouble, Psalms 41 verse 1 has covered you. If you are scared of dying, of your view, dying premature death, not me. As long as I'm supporting the needy, not me. Because Psalms 41, 1 to 3 has covered me. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have enemies? Do you have people who are hunting you? People who are always after your neck. Your boss does not want to see you. Commit yourself to Dorcas basket. That is an insurance, I assure you. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Psalms 41, verse 1, 2, and 3. And God is not a liar. God is not a robber. When you give towards that, and then you do his work. You know, this is a condition that you fulfill for the glory and honor of his name. Every 10 p.m. at night, we usually have Facebook Live. Mom comes live and teaches us the word and prays for us. Make a point of watching her apart from the office days, which are usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. From Monday, from Sunday, we command our week. Do not have a Mother Godanyo week, a confused week. Com command it on Sunday, on your knees. Dictate to Monday, to Tuesday, all the days of the week. Dictate, speak, speak to the days of the week, and it shall be smooth in Jesus' name. Amen. We have lunch our meetings every Thursday of the week. Kindly, it's live again on Facebook. Kindly watch it, and God will bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And to those announcements, announcements, beautiful. And today is sweet, even to our ears. So we give God all the glory. Yes, we have something special today, something to do with our youths. So at this time, I want to welcome the youths. Youths, where are you? If you are a youth, myself, I'm not a youth. I'm a very senior mama. So where are youths? When are youth? Where are we? Where are we? Kindly let's stand. Let's stand up as we appreciate you for being here. Wow, it's a blessing to have you with us. It's a blessing, it's a blessing, it's a blessing. Hallelujah. Look at our youth. Look at our beautiful girls. Our beautiful girls. Our beautiful kings and queens in the house. So at this time, I want to welcome Liberty so that he can come over and take a few minutes. Let's clap for Liberty. Woo! Amen. God bless you, Liberty. Good afternoon, Queens. How are you? Yes. Hope you are having a wonderful Saturday. Yes. I think Gulen uh, Mekuja, the youths, the youths of Ujembele, the youths uh, who have something. Sophie, Winnie, John, John, John. Well, uh, before you is a group of young people. Um, uh, first and foremost, before I get boring, <laughs> we, we have uh, like a small presentation. Then I can talk. So, no. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Praise God once more. Amen. Number one, it's an honor and a privilege just to be here. The second thing, I, my mom has not arrived, but, I, but in absentia, I'd like to say thank you for gathering these people in one place on Saturday. Amen. You can imagine. Third, third and not, I'm sorry, not the least. God says that in, in Psalms 23, verse 1, that he is our shepherd, there is nothing we shall not want. Yes. Without my first mother, I do, I just like to bow our heads for a heart of prayer and say, God, you are worthy of all our praise, worthy of all our worship. We thank you that you are good and you are faithful till the end. Father Lord, as we are going to listen to you just for a brief moment, we are, let us let your word have an impact onto our lives. Let your word mold us, Almighty God. In Jesus' name, I do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. I've, I've never pre I've, 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 I've been given a chance just to say a word for five minutes, but Holy Spirit, I've never preached of Him. So, <laughs> if you have your Bible next to you, either physical or uh, the other one, can you turn, turn with me to the book of Luke, chapter 9? Verses 1 to 2. 
Luke chapter 9, verses 1 to 2. We are the youth, and and the, that and the and the word of God says that, behold, I am making something in you. That each, each, and every one of us, there is something that God wants, but that God wants to reveal and us into our lives. So, if you are writing, and I'm sure that you you pen a book somewhere, and let us see what what God what Jesus is telling us in the Gospel of Luke, chapter nine. Verses 1 to 2. And it says, I'm ready for me, from the NLT. One day Jesus called together his 12 disciples. He gave them power and authority to cast out all demons and to heal all diseases. Then he sent them out to tell everyone about the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Amen. I'd like to speak to you about a topic known as ministry. What is ministry in order? What is what was ministry then in the time of Jesus Christ, and what is ministry now? In the, uh, during the time of Jesus Christ, the ministry was about was more so about reaching out to individuals. Telling them, telling them about the kingdom of God, about telling them that hey, come, come unto me, those who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yeah. For, for in our circumstances, in our, in our, in our, in our individual lives, we are faced with many things in our, with many things, with many situations. I want to turn to your neighbor and ask, and, and I want to ask him, ask him or her, are you in ministry? Luke chapter nine, Luke chapter nine gives us gives us a, a three course recipe in ministry. You being mothers, I know you. I know that we that we love that you love your children so much that each and every you make all ends meet that they, that they may have a meal before, a meal a meal on the table. You make all ends meet that they go to the good schools, they wear good clothes. They live a life worthy of the Lord, born as if you are. So they are, they, when I talk about ministry today, it is, it, is not, it is not just praying together, but it is more of reaching into the one, one person. To do, I, I like just to give out of encouragement that when you wake up in the morning, when you seek God, when you seek the face of God right here in the morning, how uh, how much are you concerned about the next your next door fellow? How are you concerned that hey, is my is my sister alive? Is my sister doing well? Because most of us we do not sleep because in the middle in the, in the middle of the night we are fighting against principles and principalities. We are fighting against situations that that, that are above our circumstances. So at times we kind of feel like we are alone and abandoned. But when you call your sister in the morning and say, hey, God, hey sister, the Lord is with you. He will never leave you, neither will never forsake you. He receives an encouragement. And brother, and brother Peter said that there's nothing better than an encouragement of a believer. So in verse chapter 1, what is the three course recipe in ministry? Number one, be called. One day Jesus, one day Jesus called. Mark the, if I read your Bible, mark the word called. If we be us being called, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, in simple terms, Jeremiah says this: that before the beginning of the foundations of the world, Lord, you knew me. You consecrated me for a purpose, a season, and a reason. In my hands, you have given me power that that whatever I plant stays planted, whatever I destroy stays destroyed. By the power of your name, I am standing still. So we are we are called for a purpose. We are called for a period that and we are called for a reason. What reason are you called for here today, parents? 
We are the youth and we have energy in our lives. We have so much potential in our lives. But if you do not release out the potential in your young, young person, where will he start shine? Where will he be called? Where will he be appointed? Wow. Yeah. The second thing is that you have, you have to be given. I remember, I remember, the, I remember the, the, the first question, the very first question that, uh, that we had attended in Ghana. Back then, I had two problems. Number one was asthma. Number two, I was, I was doing my internship, and somehow my fees were not balancing. Luckily, Matthew seven seven says, "Ask and you shall receive." So I came with, I, I came to that question with one thing: God, I'm coming to seek Your presence. I'm coming to say. This problem, this problem is done and out. Yes. Luckily, luckily right now as I'm speaking to you, I have graduated yeah. and I thank God. Yeah. Luckily, right now I'm breathing. Yeah. Let's take a moment. Let's kindly let's, let's do this. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Someone is, someone is paying close to 12,500 and above just to do that. Yeah. And you are giving, uh, uh, be given it freely. So the Lord says that you have been given power and authority. Yes. That in your hands, you have the power. Yes. But let me tell you this, that before you, you have an adversary, John 10, 10 says that the devil come to kill, steal, and destroy. But the Lord God Almighty has come to has come that you may have life and life in its abundance. So do not, yes, we focus on the life in its abundance, but remember that before you, you have an enemy. So if I were your enemy, I will decline you from having a relationship with God. Because if you have a relationship with God, whatever you, whatever you ask in His name, you catch. Whatever you proclaim in His name, you receive. So I will be, I, I will be on a mission to deter you, to present problems before you, so that after one problem, you face another one. After school fees, you are facing this problem. After this disaster, there is house rent. So that you may not focus on He who has made you. So you may not focus on what has been given unto you. God said that he has given you two things, power. Yes. So that whatsoever you lock on earth, it is locked in heaven. Yes. Whatsoever you lose on earth, it is loose in heaven. Yes. So you gotta take charge of the power that has been given unto you. The second thing he talks about authority. These are, these are all through the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. The, the topic of authority is all mentioned out. Ezekiel, Ezekiel gives us a, a scripture of Lucifer himself that, Oh, bright one, you who desire to be among the stars, why? There's a thing about authority. He, was, he wanted to be like the most high. Remember that God is a generous God. That he. he that in all things, he has to be fast. The Bible says that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord God of heaven. But as if you. So, but you, as David says, you are lifted up among the highest. How thoughtful of you, how thoughtful that God gave you, God gave you dominion. Set your neighbor dominion. When I talk about when I say when we talk about power and authority in concern to dominion, it's not about competition. So do, don't so the life you're living is not a, you're not competing with somebody. You're living a life on your own with your mighty God and Savior. So you have to take charge. Dominion is about stepping out and saying, God, I am ready to move. In this world, there are movers and shakers. Which are you? Are you a mover or are you a shaker? I desire that we that we become movers so that we move we move this generation to a better perspective. We move the generation from, from, from 
provoking things like drugs, sexual immorality, that they may practice chastity be above all, that they may worship God in both truth and in spirit. So we then empower your child to worship God. Tell him that he has been consecrated before the Lord God of heaven, that indeed he has been given power and authority to above all diseases, above all wickedness of the earth, that indeed if he goes before the Lord, much should be given unto him. Amen. Number three, if I were your enemy, I will want you to go by your own strength. So number three is said. If I de if I declare that, brother, you go by your own strength. Ephesians 6, 10 to 18 says that we, 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 we struggle not against body and flesh, but we struggle against spiritual weapons. We struggle against schemes. Some say schemes. Schemes, schemes are, these are, for, for example, if we, for, schemes, for example, if, if you are looking at me, seeking a way to determine me, to, to, to remove me from the presence of God, you are looking for a way to see where I, where I go wrong, where I am faulty. My friend, that's a scheme. In your life, if, 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 in your life, if someone is looking at your children, at the, at your, at the, man, that, at the man God has given you, seeking, seeking to deter him from the presence of God, seeking to remove him from the promises of God, which are yes and amen, my sister, my brother, that are scheme. So we are struggling against a scheme. So in little terms, if you go by your own strength, in the your own strength, you are going to lose. So Paul says, put on, put away the weapons that those are that are never working for you anyway, and take up the full armor of God that you'll be able to go. Bonus if you will. So in ministry, one, you are called. In ministry, you have to you are given. Without you being given, my friend, you have nothing to fight against the devil. Three, you are sent. Bonus if you will. You are sent. Matthew says this, that I am sending you therefore into the world with something. Number one, you are, you are sending unto them to proclaim the good news. Or to tell the people that they are to observe the commandments I have given unto them. So without much further ado, I would like to just rise up on your feet. As you rise up on your feet, and, uh, and uh, we are going to sing a song saying, We make a my miracle worker. Amen. That we are dead when we are called, we are given, and we are sent. He provides a way where there seems to be no way. He makes everything proper in his own image. Worship, if you may, you can join us, please. Mom, welcome. It's good that you are that you are with us today, and God bless you. You are here.
Joshua said that I and my house will serve the Lord. Isn't it? And we also understand that between a man and a woman, a woman is akin to God more than a man. And as you're in your household, and as you have young people around you, it's very important to understand that this young person must be, must grow in the house of the Lord. Isn't it? There's no other place better. We understand that. Isn't it? Mungapi wakiwa watoto, their parents host them to go to church. Hauko na ilawa lakini ulitupo. Why are you being different to your child? Why are you being different? It is very important to muliona wazaziwenyo wakiwa peleka kwa church. Then your child should also be sent to the To the church. No. So before you is a group of young people, we're just representing them. <coughs> we, we want to initiate what is called the youth ministry. <laughs> so we're standing before you with a vision where we want to pull together young people put them together as one and we go for we do activities for young people we do team building we do a drama dancing to find teachings mentorship this will all be enabled by our mother senior begin my coffee So the youth ministry will have uh, departments, we'll have treasury, finance, we'll have a uh, department here, uh, team building and drama, in uh, dancing, somewhere. we go have parties, uh, Christians, worship experiences and the likes. That is good. Very good. We also have foundation. This is where we are dealing with the Dorcas basket and the missions. We also want to have our own missions. Wow. Yeah. We want to visit children's homes. We want to visit hospitals. We want to go to slums and give food. We want to, to 
Tembe kila pahali. Under the name of the Lord. You know, we are soldiers in Christ. We also have mentorship. And uh, mentorship programs, this is where we teach young people CV writing, foundation uh, jobs, entrepreneurship. So that even as the government is trying to push every young person to have their own business, we want to make sure they are enabled right. Oh, yes. We will also have camps and the boot camps. Um, uh, we'll have Bible studies and pastoring. Um, have you seen our pastor? Yes. No Upako <laughs> kweli we also have service, service in the house of the Lord, huh? yes. where we have uh, young people in media, worship, worship team, ushering, intercessory. We also have, uh, when you attend a foundation Sunday school, so however much we want to have our own ministry, it's good that we also give it back. Senior, so, yeah. we'll have our own uh, communication style, marketing of the sort, where we'll have events. We also have uh, presentations such as this. Tumefungua na mahubiri ndio muelewe mission yetu vizuri. We'll have dances. Yeah? Uh, drama here and there. Tuliongea na tukasema, maybe Christmas. Tutakuwa na a Christmas presentation. Wow. Yeah? T-shirts. We also have uh, young people with their own T-shirts. So what does the future look looks like? Mm. Young people over 200 EV, Sindio? Oh yes. Kanisa yetu. Amen. We have to force ourselves out of this place. Oh, yes. So if we have 200, <laughs> by force, we have. Hakuna yes. option, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that means that uh, when we have 200 young people, we have the potential of employing uh, 100 to engage with them. Employment, and yes. Another goal of the youth ministry we want to equip young, young people with God's word, the way the kingdom works. And uh, that is the youth ministry. So, in front of you is uh, a group of leaders. Yes. With time, we will know which departments they stand in. Yes. Let's see, spoil the tea right now. Mm. We are going to plan better. But we have departments, and these departments will start working. So, if you are a young person, we say, Mama, we, we are going to meet by the Sunday school. We will want you to write your names, the name of your child, and the number. Ali nyuma kwa ashes before you leave. And I think that uh, I can join. So my fellow mothers, kindly come on board, on board and uh, let our children seek God. Yes. So we are, we are happy we have come this far. We thank God for the grace to gather us in his house. We thank God for bringing our mom. Aren't you happy? Yes, our mom is in the house. We love her so much. Yeah, today I want us to rise up and love her differently because today I want us to pray for her as she comes to minister to us. It's such a privilege to have her every month speaking to us, uh, causing us to grow, to move from one level to another. So it's such a blessing. And I want us to pray according to Psalms 3.3. Whenever you're praying for a mom, please don't forget to declare Psalms 3.3 and hide her inside there. The weapons are many, yeah? the mishari, the weapons of the enemy. There are so many. 
Yeah, we don't want to hear her sick after ministering. That one, I feel pain like it's me. So the only thing we have is to hide her, hide her every day. Continue hiding her in the presence of God, in the powerful word of God in Psalms 3.3. The Bible says, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for me. So instead of me, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for our mom, Winnie Muiruri. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. So the Bible says, but thou, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. Mm -hmm. So instead of you, mention Winnie. Mention our mom. But thou, O Lord, are a shield of our mom. You are of her glory and the lifter up of her head. Whenever she's down, may you lift her. Can you pray for her? Pray for our mom. Oh Lord, we mention her before you, Lord. We bring our mom before your presence. And we want to declare the power in your word. That thou, O Lord, shall always be a shield for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. As she goes out, as she comes in, oh God, you're going to shield her. You're going to cover her, my father. Cover her with the canopy of your glory. In the name of Jesus, you're her shield, oh God. Every time she's downcast, every time she's discouraged, remember your word. Remember your promise in Psalms chapter 3 and verse 3, Lord. We thank you. We love you, Lord. Even as she starts before us, Lord, we present her before you. Holy Spirit, take care, Lord. God, her teacher, in the name of Jesus. We love you, Lord. We honor you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. See yeah.
you can finger point a woman. You don't have an idea. The sleepless nights, they cried for what you are saying and demanding today. I will never bring down a woman. Even if you are a prostitute, I will never judge you. Even if you are sleeping with a married man, I will pick you but no judge you. Because behind a beautiful woman, there is a story. Oh, Mama Winnie, I love you. You look beautiful. Mama Winnie, I love your God. It did not just happen. Because God will pass you things you thought you could not have passed. Job said, the things I feared, oh, they kept. When we grew up, being a, a child of God so many years back, the things I've gone through, I said, Lord, I thought I prayed. Nobody invited things in life. Yeah. Just find yourself in some processes of life. And sometimes you look at a woman, you say, I love your God. It took a wrestle with Jacob to be called the God of Jacob. Mm -hmm. There was a rib. You have to live to have a God. Mm -hmm. You have to be left with scars mm -hmm. to have a God. Mm -hmm. You have to lose a name. You have to you have to live what you have to lose what you protected. You know when you walk with God, you no longer protect nothing. Mm -hmm. You are like you need God. And you know sometimes the people who have never walked with God, they don't understand. But when you say that I want to have a great God, be ready to face things that may look like shame. But eventually, the same shame, the Lord shall turn it around to be double honor. Never judge a woman. I say women talking about rubbish in the social media. I say, God, no woman in the right mind will do this. They find themselves in some processes. And when you're a little girl, there are things that you prayed, you will not become a victim. But you found yourself in the process. And you say, Lord, I'm here, but I still love you. Hallelujah. 
So when you come here, this is my first concern. I look at him, I said, God, the way he even even conceived. Can we sit down? Sorry, I, I, I forgot. So when I was saying as she I was I was having my children in mind. And some of you they know my life. And you can just be there and you know. When I'm looking at them, this is my first born, he loved media. This is my 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 second born, he also loved media. This is my my third born, he also love uh, instruments. Imagine, imagine the prayer we make. The prayer we make and they look like not real. When my last born joined Kamega High School, within one week, the chat the, the school was already calling me. That is all of us see you. And I see the chaplain calling him in the house, try to ask him where they have messes, you know. They ask him what to do, and he's in the house. Are you getting my point? Because he's so involved in the things of God in school. And however much the world is wicked, I want you to know God can preserve our children. Yes. I want you to know that you can make a prayer that your children will not be lesbian, they will not be gay, they will not be this and that. I want you, the only thing you can teach your children is to love God and to have their own God. I can testify so many miracles of what God has done to my first one. And Juicy, one of my girls invited me to so many young people, there were over 2,000. And he's one of my girl, equity, wings to fly. And I was given a platform. And my, I, I told my son to have a speak. I always train my son to speak. Because he has to give to the world who I've given him. If you don't know how to raise, you never be, your children will never become. And you never know what you can correct them. So anytime I'm given a platform, I'll give him 10 minutes to speak. And what amazes me with this young man, by the grace of God, he always has something written to tell the young people. Hallelujah. So when you pray for them, give them opportunity to serve. Let them make mistake, pick them. Tell them, when you sit down, I tell them, you could have said this, you could not have said this. And when I told him to speak to the young people, he spoke the 10 minutes, and you could tell he has something for the young people. For the glory of God. And now he's going through and the girl says the person who was in charge of the, the that uh, organization so he told him he's going to observe him into the mentorship to, to, to mentor. <laughs> so raise your children. Let me tell you something, don't you clap yet. He was not just born. He has a woman who says no, this one you can't touch. He has a book who says this one will become a star in the kingdom of God. This one will serve God. This one will serve God. I've gone through so much in life because the way I've gone through, you also make your children to go through the same. But also they were in the making. And God has made them to stand and bring something to the young people. Keep on praying for them. Lay hands on them. Even if you feel that they are rebellious, and don't pamper them. I repeat, don't pamper a child. They will become a burden to the society. Don't pamper a child. Don't. Don't weigh a child. Slap and laugh. Make it hard and laugh. Hallelujah. And they know. But they know I love them because most of my prayers, they are in my prayers. Sometimes God will command me. They lay in my altar I'll just pray to them. I speak wisdom. I speak counsel. I raise the grace to love God. The hunger, you shall love God. You shall be arrested of God. It does not mean they are not going to have some things like young people, but you keep on saying it. You keep on seeing it every single day. Hallelujah. 
I don't push them to come to Queens. Actually, they come before me. Because these are the prayers you make. Let them voluntarily do what? Do it. They went the other day to FEM, and they're all over also. In, in FEM doing so much, washing the sanctuary, nobody tells them. Going to the Department of Media, show me how media is done international. I never force them. Actually, I don't go to them in the church. They have their own ministry in the church. So I don't even know what they do. But it's a, it's a prayer answered. Pray and leave it. Pray and don't worry how God will fix it. Pray and raise it. Pray and pigamateke. Do you know pigamateke and semaneni? For them to, to have an independent God. They cannot keep on leaning on your God. Huh? They'll be confronted alone. What will they do? In the age of that teen, if I was not taught God, when my mother died, what could I have done? Through my life, I've realized the only thing you can do is to raise a child, to know God by himself. Yes. Because they are going also to pray for you. They are going to come back and say, we are praying for you. Be strong, you can do it. So many times I hear my son making a prayer, I said, ah, that prayer is a good one. Somebody who has invested in the hope. So it's because you have kicked them to go and look for God. Let them go and look for their God. Hallelujah. Amen. That was a by the way. Hallelujah. Amen. It has moved me for once. I think the Holy Spirit was reminding me, don't take this one for granted. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In case they are not there yet. At least every step you give God glory. Amen. They are not already there. Right? I'm still pushing them. They have a long way to go. Because they have just he's just twenty-two and he has just started life. And don't calculate my age. twenty. <laughs> 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 But then you are all sure. Amen. How many are new in this place? It's your first time to be here. Amen. Amen. for coming. And you're not clapping, are you? Pero Shibia, you're not clapping. Pero Shibia, you're going to visit us. Hey. All the time. All the time. Have, okwe, kuna kitu unapewa, kume mungu wa mumepewa. Kuna kitu ujapewa, start until you get this, this car, car leave and then you, uniachie. Kama ujapata, raise your hands, visit us. Niandikia uniachie the details. God bless you so much for coming. And today we are talking about what? The spirit of backwardness. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe every one of us maybe has a victim in one way or the other. This is a spirit. Right? Because life is a spirit. So this one, you cannot deal with it like, like ordinary thing. This is a spirit that hates and resists progress. It is a spirit that resists progress. Hallelujah. This is a spirit that will never allow you to do what? To make a move. And when God delivered the children of Israel, he said what? Let my people go. So God wants us to go. But this spirit never allows us to go. And most of the time when we grow up, 
we were having a dream and we heard somewhere we were going but what happened that we are not still we are not there yet is because of what the spirit of backwardness i'll say this you anytime for example when you are here you have come here with your feet right yes. and then you have come here with your heart yes. you are listening so what you do not understand according to joshua chapter 1 and verse 3 you possess with your feet so once you are here you are already occupying and possessing the spirit and the altar in this place you are connecting with this now this is where i'm going where you are born you possessed the land because that's where you are stepping on and that is the environment you grow so you made covenant with where you were born hallelujah so where you go that is why according to psalms chapter 1 and verse 1 the bible says blessed is the man who walk not who start not who sit not god is watching you are sitting you are standing and you are walking why because with your feet you make a covenant did you know that did you know that you are making a covenant with the territory you are stepping on hallelujah where you are born in the village you made a covenant because that is where you are born and that is where your feet are that is why you keep on dreaming with the way you are born because there is a covenant you made with your feet but you did not break hallelujah amen am i understood i want to a bit i understand because most of you they say i'm dreaming with this because you possess and you made a covenant with the way you're born that's why you can even dream what you have been doing in the age of three or five because it's a covenant you made and when you came a covenant cannot be broken by you shifting because you have shifted physically but spiritually you did not detach hallelujah there must be a spiritual separation so that you can now make a covenant with your future because you have been binding this spirit but you need to understand it in a spiritual way this spirit will never let you go that's why even when you go to church everywhere you go even where you work where you do business you're not just having a business you're having a covenant with the territory. They are called cover, a territorial covenant. So you make so many covenants with the territory of your former school, the territory of your former village, the territory of where you have been. You keep on dreaming where you came from because there is an existing covenant. What is a covenant? It's an agreement between the two. And covenant cannot be broken by you shifting physically. It is literally broken. And in every covenant, there is an altar speaking. Every covenant, there is an altar speaking. So these dreams is because this covenant is still alive. And there is an altar speaking. And you have never broken the covenant and detach yourself and the future will not or welcome you the tomorrow will not welcome you until you detach from where you come from listen when uh you read the book of ruth the bible talks about ruth and the other girl i i don't know how to my up it's called opera opera the uh, central bear with us Misawa tutu kwa anointed. Atio? Opa. Opa. Now listen, the two people were attached to their former territory. But one girl got tired of the territory behind. 
But again, this is the thing. He knew and she knew that if I need a future, I need a go-between that to help me to break my covenant I have made in the past so that I make another covenant of my future to change my tomorrow. This is where we see Ruth clinging to Naomi. Why Naomi? Naomi comes from where Ruth was wanted to go. So where you want to go, you need a person on the other side to covenant with you and cover you so that you can be able to have a new covenant and help you to break the former covenant. So Ruth knew I am tired of where I come from as a Moabite. But again, I cannot go to the future without having, having somebody who is going to help me to break the former covenant, to make the new covenant of my future territory. Hallelujah. And we see Ruth familiarizing with Naomi. And we see for Naomi to, to, for Ruth to embrace the future, there was somebody who was familiar with the territory she needed so badly. There was somebody who is, a, who is holding you to that future that you want, that can help you to detach and help you to attach, to introduce yourself to the greatness that God has promised doesn't matter how many times people are going to lay hands on you. The Bible says you cannot prosper beyond the understanding. When you understand the realm of the spirit, how it works, sometimes you don't even need a prayer. The Bible says they shall know the truth. And the truth shall set them free. The prayer does not set you free. It's the truth. So you should understand, where am I dreaming with my former life? It's because there are some covenants you make everywhere you go. That place you are working, you are not just working, your spirit is there. Where you are born, you are not just physically there. Your spirit existed. So even if you shifted to the city, your spirit you left there. And you did not detach it. You did not go and break what? The covenant. The covenant. I'll give you stories without reading. You can also read the story of Gideon. In Judges chapter 6. We see this. Where would you think that Gideon was going back even after the encounter with the angel? You can go read Judges chapter 6. It's talk about Gideon. Gideon being found by an angel and the angel defining who God Gideon is in, in the future. Some of you know who you are in the future. And why are you not there yet? There's something Gideon know. If I don't go and detach my soul and break this covenant, just an encounter cannot make me to go to my to go to my future. So praying hard and praying and fasting and all that will not give you a future. You need to understand. Where you have been stepping with your feet, you have been making covenants. That's why you bring with your former classmate, your former colleagues, your former boyfriends. Some of you they are married and they're still uh, uh, dreaming with their former husband or, or boyfriend, isn't it? What do you make? What make you think that the other one will work? <laughs> to never work. Your soul is still there. And so until you detach, then you are attached. This marriage will work. But this will not work. If you have also spouses that they keep on going to their former ex uh, uh, exes, they make this other one difficult because you cannot make covenant with different people. Hallelujah. And those people who are like attached. How do you attach to your former? If I detach, I detach. That's me. Hallelujah. 
in your phone uko na ex and you want God to give you future what is good about a past why did you left in the first place eh ulitoka kwa nini eh kulikuwa kuzuri ukatoka and now you have the phone for the father of your children who knows he moved on and got a family what are you doing with this phone si mtoto wake wako wapaogea si waogea ni wao wanajuana na vireba zao yes si wao wa touch they will never forever be yes but if you for sure you knew that you are not there what are you doing with where you came from or you are trying to make it work and you are still quoting the god of the future akiwa mama mimi i think ni kwa fauti me me i pass you when you give me children i'll say hi to you like a friend and that's it and i advise you like that girl is not bad that's me that one is not bad but that one don't try that's me chapter closed because there was when i walk out there was nothing good right so why are you keeping at at any time you are broke you still have a next to call don't you have a god no wonder you have never progressed no wonder the doors have never opened because this covenant would have break ni mwili ulitoa tu na uku break the what the covenant oh the father of my children is it god na kikufa utafanya wewe utaamuka kujua Mungu akikufa si utake you can make a decision akufe kwa system yako na unjasema akufe physically lakini wadili na mtoto wake that is how you are going to open for the future amen because the future will never come until you close the past hallelujah so i said you make covenant that is why when you are having somebody in the past you make a covenant that's why it's very hard for you to move on imagine 10 years as a girl and tell you mom nimeshindwa to move on guy don't you love your life 10 years you tell me go shit you don't you love you can me love me honestly because there's so much that god can give to you because number one, do you need somebody who has wasted their life for 10 15 years when they don't have teeth you need them back <laughs> when they have wasted their energy and their good strength you need them back huh <laughs> if their god has to restore his soul within one year if there is no restoration within that time i when he sleeps around you still got got the code code of restoration <laughs> if god has to restore you speak to you and it will not take long yeah. when something go beyond 10 years i mean it's no longer restoration akienda huko ahonga hongwe ahonga hongwe are ahonga hongwe na wanawake wa mwache then you become a substitute because you have children <laughs> Akivimeni. Don't you have some value for yourself? <laughs> 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 build my own empire my girls will become my children and my company and it's okay because mimi ile uzee atitoreenda ge ati dawa cia sukari Okay. 
this is my point but kama uko na energy ya kurudiwa ukiwa hiten ni sawa tuko na neema tofauti if that is your prayer <laughs> if that is your prayer it's okay this is my prayer my 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 i was talking about the spirit of backwardness have you ever been dreaming with things that anywhere you have been step have you ever noticed that anywhere you have dreamt in ni pahari shawa ikua yes na kwa nini ujai jiuliza si pahari uko familia because you make what a covenant with yourself unaweza kuwa ume make covenant that's number when you ask yourself when the bible says the former has gone according to isaiah 43 and verse 18 the bible talks about Behold I'm doing a new thing and the former has what has gone and you ask yourself what is this scripture has it ever come to me it's a war because the devil when you read the story of the children of Israel you realize for the past to leave you it's a war the journey of the children of Israel the Egyptian didn't give up you should understand this is a very stubborn spirit For so many years if you read the book of Exodus you realize they were trying any other time to bring them back and listen so that you know it is a spiritual and sometimes the children of Israel will consider going back because the covenant was not broken because when they were put in the wilderness they were supposed to break this detachment and covenant but they didn't because god pampered them moses pampered them they forgot there is a journey of transition for egyptian covenant to be broken for them to go to where to canaan that's why some of you they consider going to the village when you are broke because the spirits are calling you back die in the streets Ewe nikapeleka watoto wangu nikahaso. Ah ah. It's not about job. Ah ah. It is the spirit calling you back. Because you did not detach spiritually. When Abraham separated with a lot, Abraham said, I'm going to the city where God is a builder. This separation with the Lord, Abraham make it so spiritual that not turning back mm-hmm. and today we come from the lineage of a man who says i'm going to the city where god is the builder and then god when my siblings when they were dividing the land they didn't care about me i thank god they make it very easy for those ba- covenant to be broken that i'll never turn back the other day my elder brother was saying Murugi there is a priest we left here in the case I said no there's no, no in case no in case <laughs> there is no in case can you delete my existence because you are holding me back mm. i have a city i'm going mm. where god yes, is yes, yes. some of you are so loved i'll tell you and i'll shock you some of the girls who have never gotten married your father love you so much And then they have something they say and they don't take it like spiritual. There is a kalad for my girl here. They are attaching you back. No wonder the person who was supposed to be handed over by your father has never come. Because your father has never spiritually released you. You are still within the covenant. My brother told me, I said, "What?" But you see you are loved by your father. Some of you they are girl's father. How many of you? Your father, your favorite to your father. One day I I talked to one of the girl in the office she said mom what do you mean? I said yes. Your father is holding you. Your marriage will never be. What happened to the altar so that I open your eyes of understanding? You are father always had over to another man it is spiritual transition if he doesn't do that you still go back home all the time do you have fathers 
Anytime you tell them that you're going through issues in your marriage, your father is like, Mucho asikusubwe, welcome back. <laughs> that is very spiritual. They will never let you go to build your future. Some love are killers of dreams. More. Killers of dreams. A father should love you and help you like Naomi. You see Naomi loved Ruth, but she was telling Ruth, I want you to go to the future. I love you, but I want to train you how to attach to your future. But not many fathers do that. They are always bring your children. Look at Make. Because I job, there is your room here. And now you know the husband cannot lay hands on you because your father is always with you. And you call it love? That father is a hindrance to your marriage. They should love you and help you to overcome the battles. They should love you like Naomi and train you how to attach to your tomorrow. Because through Naomi, Ruth was detached and attached to the future. Today, all of us, we come from the lineage of Ruth through the lineage of Jesus Christ. Through Naomi. You need people who are going to help you detach to attach. That's why I believe in tough mentorship. Because if I hold you so much, I hold you for queens, you never go to the nations. So I train you, you know, the nations are walking, and God is my witness. My spirit is so open. If you tell me I've been called somewhere to minister, I'm so open. That's why I say any preacher who does not raise you for nations, they are killing you. They should raise you and you pray for the doors to open. Yes. Because they should help you like Naomi to attach to your greatness tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you have such a father? So the children of Israel, the reason why they were like, today they are going, tomorrow they are not going, is because they are still attached. You better pack your things today from your past. Like past, you, you just pack. You are coming to the city and there is a room in your home. What make we care? Hey. So you better me, I always tell them, you will be blessed to have a room to hire just around guest house. I'm not part of this. This was where I was born, but not where I am supposed to be. We cannot choose where we are born, but we can choose. But you see, the detaching for future to come, you may so be determined to detach to where you are born. Hallelujah. The things you did yesterday, some of you, they cannot see another good job. Because the job you got, you are so attached and you are fired, my friend. And there are so many good institutions that can hire you. And you are still there. Like some of you who are broken by one man and you are still crying over him. So you think the same party is going to bring him back. And he has married the three times. Then he wants you back. Because so you are going to be a virgin. You are betray who? Who have you not betrayed in the first place? He has betrayed you. If he was to wait with both of you. Not here, move on. Akipada si kuzuri ya kuje. So even the institution will work. Why is not God opening new doors? Because you are so attached by something that you are promised and you are fired so many years back. So no other door can open because this covenant is still hanging around you. You better know how to work with God. According to Isaiah 45, 43, that the former things are gone. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. And, I, and I'm Jeremiah 29, for I know the plans I have for you. For future. Can you imagine? He has plans. So you should understand God is not God of yesterday. 
Yesterday is to remember and learn. But not to go back and get something there. Yes. Not unless God himself tells you it's not over. Mm. But again, some you can be told that this marriage was yours. But again, God worked with the season, seasons. If the grace is no longer reached, you try to touch, it will hurt you so bad. Yes. Have you ever seen people who come together and after two years they just part again? Yes. Because they thought because God spoke, you didn't work within the grace. So when the grace is lifted, the man is not saved. God is not involved. And I'm going to teach about working within the grace. You should understand you can be given an instruction, but within a season. You can be told that job, that job you lost, you are lost, you are lost the wrong way. But if there is a certain duration of the grace. <laughs> if you don't work within that grace, you go back after three years. They are going to chase you so badly. And they are going to say, oh God, you taught me. No, you didn't work within the grace. You can be told that marriage and that man is still yours. But design, God can speak in a certain time. And when that time is over, don't try. Oh God, I heard you. Yes, you heard God. But you need to work within what? The season and the gracing. So don't mistake me. God can restore. And God can tell you your marriage is not over yet. <coughs> Don't mistake me. And I believe I'm, God was quickening me to say that. Because I may look like I'm confusing you. But God can tell you that father of your child is still your husband. Listen to that time. And know to how to work within that season. If that season is lifted, the same person will kick you out. And God is still faithful. So learn to know how to work with the instruction within a season. So that God will not look what? Confused. He is not. The same way when you are told to go back to a certain institution where you are fired. And God will tell you it's not, it's not over yet. Work within what? A certain season. Because when you go the next season, let me tell you about the season. Season, if you work within the seasons, there is no struggle. You are going to find even the other person has been waiting for you. Utafanya took on a flow of connection. Because both of you are working within what? The season. So learn when God tells you restoration of something, learn to be quick to know the season can be what? Lifted. There's one girl who left me. One of my good girls. He left me. And I knew deep in my spirit, this is not the will of God. I was left wounded. She was left to hold it. And both of us were mourning. We knew our season together is not over. Nevertheless, when you try, I tried to make a move and I didn't find a conducive environment. I said, Lord, I tried. And so I leave it. So I prayed for her. Later, after one month, she called me. And she told me, Mom, you know what? I don't have peace. My life is done. And every my dreams is about queens, is about you, God ministering to me. And I know my season was not out. Can you imagine in this world working out of the boundaries and the grace of God? What can you do? It'd be horrible. People just don't understand. Working out of the grace of God. Of course, nothing will move. So some of, some of you even backwardness there too can be also not necessarily because of not breaking the covenant, can also be not knowing how to work within the seasons of God. I'm going to teach about the seasons of God. Seasons of God is not over. Where you go, you never stand. However you try. Yes. And if they are over, if you try to overstay, you'll be wounded every single day, crying every day. Because the grace that was sustaining you is lifted. And if you try to overstay, everybody around you start to getting tired of you. Because the grace, you don't have favor. Nobody needs you. Even the person in church does not want to see you. Because the grace is lifted. When it's not lifted, where you go, it will be the same. Nothing will work for you. Everybody will be against you. Rejection, shame. Everybody will stop on your face. 
everybody will just walk on you. Because now you are walking out of the grace. What happens in this life is that why do we prosper? You look like you are prospering, the Lord is not prospering. We know how to design. This season, God wants me to do this. This other season, God wants me to be there. That make you to walk a productive life. Hallelujah. So backwardness also can be caused by you not knowing what you need to do what at what time. When I started the ministry, I knew my time of wilderness is over. The grace will just be released. And true to that, when you walk out and you obey, everything will just pop, walking, pop, walking. It's the grace. Because now you have designed the season and you have stepped into the season. Hallelujah. So why starting a season today? You can also have a problem of not knowing to hear the next move. To hear, am I supposed to be here? And when you are here, max, max, you are tired because the grace will make you productive. Then when you step out, maybe because of woods, because of the way things are not working, very dangerous. One of the things I've learned in my work of God is to go anywhere the grace is not. Very dangerous. Even the mad person will slap you. You are rejected by even the mad people. The rejected are rejecting you. Yes. Why you prefer? Because you are working within the grace. So stagnancy and backwardness can also be caused by you not understanding. You are walking a personal way. You are walk. What am I supposed to do at this time? Where am I supposed to do at this time? And when you go somewhere because of good idea, you realize the doors will start shut, shutting, shutting, shutting. Even the obvious. Munaenda na mutu anakuwa pit. Kwa job, uko qualify before, unaachwa na wakujui. Mwenye hako qualify, anachukuriwa unaenda. Because you don't understand what are you supposed to do in a certain time. You will never be productive in life. However, prayer for you are if you don't design your, your seasons where you need to be at what time. Hallelujah. Sometimes God will release the grace of marriage to your life. Sometimes. And you feel the door of marriage is open. But that time what the enemy will do for you to bypass the season, the enemy can make you so busy very busy. Even when somebody calls you for lunch, you are not available. You tell them next month. Maybe after three months, the grace is lifted. The man does not want to see you. And then you say, he has gone me to know. Why are you stagnant in that area? You also don't know how to work within the season. Season is a bad thing. Something has already been raised. You don't need to make a prayer to do it. The heavens has already released. All you need is to step on it. But you see that part of you stepping on it, if you're so busy and you don't design, when that door closed, you realize, I thought I had God. Ah, you didn't hide here, God. I'll give you a testimony of how you walk and become progress. I told you I was given, God, when God was teaching me about seasons and working within the seasons, you don't have work. Even if it's a job, a business, a marriage, whatever move, you are going to find a door open and you're going to realize you're enjoying. An idea just come over, an idea of a business. Maybe you're an idea or you're a business person. Go put a drop of an idea in you. The first thing people start saying, where did I get money? My goodness, God. It's not about money. The grace, you see the word with the Ziso? We sing, great is thy faithfulness. All that I needed, your grace has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh God. So productivity has everything to do with grace and seasons. 
not about prayer. Some of you are supposed to be walking, but you find yourself you are in Katoroni praying. And maybe that day, God says, Stop Katoroni. First enter this open door. Before you come out of Katoroni, this door we have closed. Does she have a problem with prayers? No. She has a problem to know when the door is open. So you become stagnant, you start bending the spirit of stagnancy. But your problem is you don't know how to stop and when and how. So prayer without listening to God, it will be just a religious conversation. What is a prayer? Conversation between you and God. When you speak, do you have time to listen to him? Because what is communication? Two parties has to speak. That's why I pray God will give you the, the ears that he has got. Because listen, I'm called for women. What if I did not know my season of stepping out? I could be still saying I'm called. What if I didn't deserve it now? Think about that. You're praying for a job. God will give you a very sensitive instruction. Physically, most training has so many limitations. It's up to you to lean on the grace. It's up to you to say, great is thy faithfulness. All that I need, you are grace. You didn't understand. All I needed. You are what? The moment you're going to lean on grace, going to go very far because you'll be discerning is the grace you raised you step out you become fruitful is the grace there you step out even when you visit somebody and God has not raised the grace for that visit people step on your feet and you're still anointed who sent you there I sent you where my grace is ready who sent you to visit that friend? Who sent you to do that? Grace make us to be productive. But most of us, we are born again, but we don't deserve the release of the grace. We do different things and we order our steps. Why God does God say, I order your steps? Where grace is released. Listen. God spoke to me and I said this, I'll say. I'm saying this testimony to make you understand. So here come Winnie. You don't have anything in the pocket, but Winnie, go tomorrow morning to Embu and pray for a girl who's dying. Physically, no money. Now God is trying to test you. Can you be led by my grace without question? So here I go, I'm boarding bus fare, I don't know where to, this is my little children. And I remember, it's good to hang around with people who are ahead of you in understanding the things of God. One of my friend men told me, there is something called emergency call in the kingdom of God. Yes. Did you know that? Yes. And when you are needed, why do you give you excuses? If you knew that. So you knew the way hospital has emergency call. Spiritually, they still have. Leave what you are doing and go. How many know how to work with God like that? You can even leave your child with a neighbor because there is a call and it is emergency. How many have ever done that? That shows maturity in the things of God. So God is here. I don't have money, but the children are here. So I told the neighbor, you go to look for those children and they don't have anything. My friend told me, now can you go? When can you just go? So here I am. I am. Where will I get a fair? We need go. The grace will provide. On my way, I got my bus fare. I go to the gate. I'm giving instruction to pray for somebody I don't know. I go to the gate. I call my friend and say, Lord, now these people are becoming suspicious because I don't know who I'm going to pray for. It is an instruction from God. And my, my man will tell me, that friend of mine, go, the grace will provide everything. And I remember after asking 
the instruction that was given by God. Remember, it's somebody I don't know physically. But Kupe God is training me how to trust grace. Even when physical, nothing is working. And most of us, we are stagnant because of this area. Listen to me. So remember when I went there, I started asking, she's called Meningeri. 22 years, black, cancer, has 24. I'm like, these nurses are like, are you mad? <laughs> what is the name of the father? Do I know? I said, let me, let me call. They became suspicious. I called my friend. I said, me, I'm going to back off. I look funny. I don't have answer. He told me, grace will open the door. You are within the grace. Ten minutes to time. I was allowed in. I remember the nurse, this nurse was busy going to others. Now they were about to alert the whole hospital of a suspicious person. <laughs> because I'm suspicious. When she walked out and I stepped in. Imagine when I went out directly to where I was going. I met the girl. I have never had exactly what God told me. And God says, by you stepping on that bed, that's a miracle. Because of what? The grace. The life of that person was in your obedience. To trust the grace. Where the physical had so many limitations. How many people have died because of you not trusting the grace? How many marriages and relationships you have lost because you had a hundred and one physical excuses? How many business ideas? They are dead. And maybe they were supposed to make you a millionaire because you didn't know how to trust and obey. Because you don't know how. Most of the stagnancy in Christianity does not need prayer. They need the listening of what do I do at this time? What do you want me to do at this time? Lord, I'm stuck. I need physical school fees. What do I do? Because I know your grace will provide. God will give you an instruction. The instruction physically will look awkward, will look funny. Look does not mean anything. But God is asking, can you trust and obey my grace? So what will happen if you don't? You remain backward. You remain what? Stagnant. And this is what you call spirit of stagnancy. Not because maybe. I said the first one can be because you are not detached. And if you are detached, can also mean you don't know how to follow the grace without understanding. Go and she that arrogant boast of yours. God, you don't understand. The last time I went, he was so harsh on me. Grace is telling him, can you trust me? That door is already open. Pick a call in that argument of a relationship. Apologies. God, you don't understand. He's the one who has wronged me. The door is open and Chris is giving instruction. What will happen? The door will be closed to go back to Cataroni to pray for the same thing. God did what? Open for you. Long time ago. Many times when we are stuck, we have so many ideas. Don't we say, God, may your grace uh, create a way because your grace is sufficient. He says all graces are by it. And he has given in all sufficiency whichever grace we need. Why are we stagnant? And here the Bible says in Psalm chapter 1 and verse 3 you are tree planted by the riverside that bears fruits in and out of. Why is all that scripture remember? The first verse of chapter verse 1. Chapter 1 talks about you are going, you are standing, you are sitting. So that the chapter verse 2 can be introduced. But why do you quote chapter 2? If the first one, the leadership of the grace, is not there yet, 
How will you become productive? Verse 2. If the first one is taken care of. Are you lost? Hmm? Did you know when you understand how God works? You are going to say it's not about how it's not about more prayers, it's the understanding of how God works. When a door is open and you design, you realize already. The door you are knocking, it's either two ways. You came when the grace was not released yet. Oh, it's not the door. Let's call by your name. Hallelujah. Whatever we are doing is because <laughs> whatever we are doing is because we are in the leadership of the grace. Let me tell you something. We were born to be productive. And if God wants you to wait, he will give you even the grace to wait. Yes. Even the waiting, there is grace. Yes. Even the waiting. But the waiting that is disturbed and depressed, it means it's not a waiting of the grace. Hallelujah. That's why somebody can do this and somebody cannot do this. It's the grace. I remember one time I said, Lord, teach me how to walk with your grace. Just teach me. Because more prayers and many prayers intercessors, they can pray and prayers are not bad. And they're good. But remember, when you pray, for example, you are praying, God, I pray for the grace of a miracle job. Isn't it? Isn't it? Is that how we pray? So God, I pray for the grace of marriage. And when God, or the grace gives you instruction, you fail. Was the prayer wrong? No. You keep on going to Kataroni. My friend, go to Kataroni and know the leadership of the Christ. The two has to work together. Yes. The two has to work together. And don't you go ahead or before. You walk as a Christian, that's why it is, should be personal. That's why as a Sunday, a Sunday, a, a no, you cannot be monthly Christian or a Sunday Christian. You should know, uh, if I'm in the business, you should know, Lord, I need a breakthrough. What will God say? God can tell you, pick a call and call a certain client. You're like, I'm going to call him. And he, I mean, the last time he came here, he mishandled me. Bra, 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 bra. And this client is where grace is released. And you're here crying for God to give you a breakthrough. <laughs> so if you don't call that time, you call maybe after your pride is down. The grace is lifted. The need you needed, continue saying miracles. <laughs> Many times God will allow us to do something that is even testing our pride. I remember one time, my cousin, I was living with my cousin before I came to Nairobi and this cousin was so strict. She didn't want me to go to church. She was a Catholic and me, I was so hungry for God. The church you're going to go. She said, I'm Catholic in But you see, when you are hungry for God, you feel like it's not enough. Eh? So come away and Catholic in the Bible. So my cousin sat me down. And any time I could sneak and go to the fellowship. Any time I go to the fellowship, I go nani, and nani, the, the cousin was a, a, a woman. So I go and nani, is there, the, the man. Nina so me wa. Nina piwa, nina to see wa. Nina liya. So remember, I, I stood for some three months. I got tired. I woke out. After I came to Nairobi, I entered one of the church that touched me God. I started seeking God and trusting God to know God. I was so hungry. In the midst of my seeking God, God spoke to me. Go back to your cousin and apologize. Ah. God, are you there? They are the one who hurt me. How can I go? It was repeated many times. Do you know where I had to go? They saw me in the, in the house. I sat them down. I was 20 or 19. I told them, forgive me for my staying here. 
where I have wronged you. My pride. I didn't qualify. I didn't invite. Hallelujah. So where God instructs you, physically you look like, but that is where that is. The grace to provide what you pray for. Hallelujah. Have you ever, you know, when God walk with us, have we ever missing on, on God and we say we are stagnant because we don't know how to walk where grace is? Is there some way you are told? Have you ever been told by God, go and apologize to some funny niggas and they have hurt you so bad? And God is telling you, just say sorry. I'm telling you, say sorry. Really. I'm like, God, you don't remember. He's the one who crashed my heart. I say, I'm dealing with him. Go say sorry. Is, it, is, it, is, it? <laughs> is there anybody who has been there? But you see, where you are told us, the Bible says what? I reject the what? The proud and I give grace to? Grace is where? Grace is where? <laughs> so God knew that you need grace. So he uses the grace. And when you come there, you say, Oh God, that was grace. And for sure it was. But with that God, you didn't what? You obeyed. Some of our stagnancy does not need praise. Truth be told. Prayers are good. I'm a very prayerful person. Here God comes and tells me, God says, I'm calling you for a woman. And here the grace is released. And here the door is open. My goodness, physical could not speak. I said, Lord, teach me how to step out so that the door will not be closed. Where could I be if I obeyed? That day I took a phone without bandits, borrowed, borrowed phone. <laughs> and you are, you are busy going to Kataron. She said, I'm going to go to Kataron. She said, I'm going to go to Kataron. She said, I'm going to go to Go and pray for so and so. You're not going. You already planned. Ah, uh -uh. go back. Your husband needs to meet you back in the house, mommy. God, you don't understand. I am. I'm so angry. I'm so hungry to pray. Uh -uh. It's not about prayer. It's about to be where grace needs you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we can do the right thing the wrong way. We can be good Christians. Doing the right thing the wrong way. Once I learned that, I said, Lord, teach me this grace. I need this grace. Because you never prosper because of prayer. You prosper because of where the grace is. Grace lifts labor. Yes. Grace ignores qualifications. Yes. Grace ignores how you look. Yes. He knows what you are capable of physically. Yes, that's why I love grace. Because many will say, we need our wanawake wanakufuata wanafanya nini grace. I mean, I don't have even a revelation of the word. Yes. That's why you know they were pouted. I pray, but I operate under the grace. We do the same thing, but I operate under the grace. Marriages stand, somebody stick by your side because of your grace. Your children follow you because you need the grace. Work. Hallelujah. When you are touched to your back, we need to break those covenants because when I speak to this, you sit to a person, I tithe, I do, and I pray, I tithe, I walk with God. I have never sinned against God. Yes, you sin. When you rebel against grace, you will sin. You are a sinner. You are equal to another sinner. If you go where grace is not, is rebellious. You are a sinner. Because that's the leadership of God that you are rejecting. How do you tell me you are not a sinner? You are. Sinning is not about going and sleeping around. It is even when you don't obey the leadership of grace. Many miracles. Remember when I went up, was abiding in my obedience 
it carries the healing. People could have persuaded, so you said you are busy. Because the grace of healing was released that time. If you try tomorrow, they die. Did you know that? If you try to do what you did today, and you do the same, God hates normality. God hates routine. The Spirit of God will never work in routine. So what I did yesterday, I don't try to do it tomorrow. It will not work. You know, today you need, that's what the Bible says, the masses of God are new. You don't try to do how you did yesterday. You can't. The grace is new every day. So when I went there, I knew by me stepping on that bed, there'll be healing. Not because I am a great woman. Ah, ah. The grace of healing, it was me calling with my obedience. And for sure, the girl got healed. Amen. And the other kidney I told you about was again, you are in pain, the grace tells you now, go to Kenyatta. Again, another girl. Remember, it's how to learn to walk in the grace. When you start a meeting, oh God, I don't have the money. The grace will provide. If I try to do it next month, oh, it will blow it up. The same thing trying to do different seasons of grace, it will not work. Hallelujah. So you need to understand for us to prosper. Even me, I always ask myself, do you wake up to know where God needs you to be at that time? Even the client, if that day God has given you clients, is the grace need, leading you to this or that? Because even in the marketplace, for us to prosper, is the leadership of the grace. Hallelujah. I remember one time, I, I was, a woman came to me and we, she was praying to me, Mom, my business is so down. So down. I said, do you love, still love the business? I said, Mom, even into the next world, I will still do this business. So then, if you know exactly that, then let us trust God. We prayed. When we prayed, I told her, there is a, there is a client that there is a client who went with your money. Two years. And now you disconnected each other, you got mad and everything. I told her, that client is your savior right now. She told me, Mom, she ran away with my money. Even we want to bust police station. I said, make a call. I said, Mom, I can't. I said, make a call. She refused because of like a pride. I said, it's up to you. So we left each other. And of course I prayed for her. I said, this girl, she does not understand. The client, as we talk, is doing very well in the same business. And she become the potential business in the, in the potential client. When he went, I think, by the grace of God, he, he of course, he didn't call. And the client was like, I've been looking for you. Tomorrow I need this and that. Wow. And that was a turn on. The grace. I said the grace. What we need comes with the knowing where is the grace. Because we are saying according to the song, the grace will provide all that I need. All. All. There is grace of provision. There is grace of progress. There is grace of anything. But we need to know what we need to know where is the door. It is where the grace will lead us. And that door will open up progress many times with a test of the state of our hearts. We didn't get that. <laughs> many times God will lead us with a test of test of state of our hearts. What is hard for you to say, Lord, oh, this is it's so hard, but it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Whether I know I need it, yeah. It's not a strength. That is what we call what? 
a miracle. Stop calling. You need the knowledge to know how God works. You don't need nobody to pray for you. Did I say that? You don't need anybody. Oh, you are in your bear. Mungu anakuja, atakuja ukijua kutembea na Mungu. Imagine utakuwa unakuja that meeting to say thank you. Not because there is a mighty man of God. There is no mighty man of God. He is a great God in a human being. You didn't get that. There is no great mighty man or woman of God. It is a great God in individuals. They have chosen to take God by his word. And you have no chosen. So what we are going to do, we are going to go back like Gideon today. And you say, if it is a school, you dream with, you go back in your prayers, and you break that covenant. The covenant I made in this institution, I break it, and I silence this altar. And this demonic dream will not appear to you in Jesus' name. Amen. You go back to your village. You know my village is called Gadiri, and I knew if I'm not going to de deal with it, there's nothing good will come in my life. So I need to detach and to break the covenant. So I go there like what? A visitor. And they, don't, they should not try to give me a lot there. Because I can't. Because the vision is small. Everything is small. So I broke, I went, I said, I detach me. And I break the covenant I made with the soil of my road in the name of Jesus. And I silence that altar in Jesus' name. When you silence the former words, when you rise, you go back and introduce them to the covenant you made with the God, like Joseph. The, two, the siblings of Joseph, they joined the God of Joseph. They came. Joseph did not go back. Hallelujah. So when you go back, you no longer go back the same person. You don't subdue to that covenant. They subdue to your covenant. Because now your covenant has taken the territory. It is your choice. You are controlled by the covenant of your forefather. All you introduce them to your covenant. The choice is yours. We are product of what controls us. They are called territorial covenants. That's what we call backwardness. Backwardness is those territorial covenants that are pulling us behind, telling us where to badu. It is you to resist and to say, ah, ah, me, I went to a city where God is a builder. And I have already built my own what? Covenant. And that's what Gideon did. And we see Gideon, God instructing him how to raise the men of prayer to build a covenant, a new one. Now that he has been already detached from the covenant. You have to know how to detach and to start building like Gideon. Your own territory, your own thing that is going to control now from you and henceforth. And you can become a Joseph in your own family. Because you know the covenant has been controlling all of you, has not been a beneficiary to you. So what will you do? You go back like Gideon. Break those backward covenant territory so that now you build another one. This other one is the one we are dictating is going to control you. You're going to realize one of the things I should tell you, you are progressing is your dreams. All of a sudden, when God detaches you, your dreams changes. I don't remember any, I don't remember dreaming with my siblings, honestly. Unless my brother who is a pastor and we are doing ministry. I really worked like Gideon. I said, I, I, I didn't choose to be my rules, but listen, it is where I came. Not where I belong. There's a difference. Where I was born, not where I belong. Because I'm going to the city. The God of the future has something in store for me. If I don't detach, my feet will not make move. Back when Nikusema Nini, 
migu yako imefungiliwa kweni some of you they even are married and you dream when you are sipping your compound and you are busy saying it's your husband who is immoral no no your husband can be very very just a victim of that covenant can be a victim of that territorial covenant. Because especially as a woman, you will go and talk a queen. When they will get the bomb. Hallelujah. And so you detaching is what happened. When we get born again, we did not break this covenant. Zakwenye to mefanya my job. No wonder another opening did not open. Kwa my classmates, you know, when you are to the wow, those are all the friends of. You are teenage. What are they doing in your circle? And physically, you don't see them. Physically, you don't see them. Why are you dreaming with them? Dreaming in any to know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. And we are controlled by the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's how you control. Where did I see? I show. If you don't see tomorrow, one of the things that to tell you are backward, you don't see your tomorrow. You don't even know what God has planned for you. It tells you backward spirit in a kukonto. Backward spirit iki kuwacha mungu wanafungwanga macho. Uwone keshe yako. The only things that you come ni vile mungu watafanya, vile anataka kufanya, kile anataka ufanya. Ufanya. Si kile ime happen. Whatever you see backward it means your feet are brought back. Anything uta ata uki dream kitu ya village. Kama kulikuwa na transaction unafanya kesho hayenda githu. It doesn't go through. Na kujua kama huja break hiyo. Ni kujua tomorrow you have a very good job. To grow your, your job less. Tomorrow you can rent a good house. The next day you are hosted. Ni roho ija kuacha. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, uko, have you ever seen people who already work and they cannot, after getting the salary, they let me make sure they'll get the salary and count. But within two hours, they are jobless. They come jobless. Kusire roho ya nyuma ya kuacha. Progress unaanza na kubadirisha dreams. Ukiona ume overcome your roho dreams hako zinabadirikanga. Kabisa, kabisa, unaota ukipewa pesa, unaota ukitravo, mungu wa kitakisa na kuambia, you are tomorrow. Go start revealing your tomorrow now. But now, it is not God, because God can never reveal your yesterday, he cannot. Unless something is revealing to you to repent. Hawezi ya kakwambia, ativiri, jurikuwa na chota maji na kuni. Iso ni mataimono za uko. Jina kwambia, wewe ulituwacha, ulituwacha na nani uko. Where do you think you are going? So what you do, it's a war that you continuously work. If you don't win the spirit until your dreams are, are restored, you know, the future dream. Remember that uh, Elisha, if you don't see it, Elijah, Elisha, you cannot see it. Imagine, do you know, even if I come and tell you, I release a visa, and you're still dreaming in your village, my friend. Visa ikuji. It's a talk about it. Wale wana kwambi unaenda wapi? Na wana sema visa, unaleta passport. Ida mulango itafunguka mpaka hii fungike. Are you getting? Mpaka u close this other one to allow the tomorrow to unfold. Mpaka u fold the future. Behold, I'm doing a new thing. The former has gone. That is our God. Giving us new things. Your tomorrow will never unfold. Those great wishes you have, they will never become. Until you go and hear. You covenant, territorial covenant of my father. You can't hold me. I break you. You spirit of backwards. The spirit from where I schooled. You have to leave me. Where I did my, my job, you have to leave me. Where I was working. You know, the people who dated you before, you are still dreaming with them. It shows in the realm of the spirit you are married. Did you know that? Did you know that? 
If you are dealing with somebody you had affairs with, the other person you either if he existed, you never love him, and that marriage will never work. Or if you are single, nobody will occupy because in the realm of the spirit you are occupied. And things are spiritual. These are spiritual. For God to give you a marriage, it has to be released. Me, I, I remember one time I was dating and I was going to how I was in this day, you man, baby. And you are giving a visa. Mamma, we are not a bravi. I have a bravi. So I'm seeing this person. And one thing I, 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 I realize is not in my life. I could not dream with this person. I could not see him in my world. And then, ah, this is not God. There's no way you can be your husband and never dream with him doing something. It means there's no unity in the realm of the spirit. Yes, things are spiritual. Dreams, they talk reality because it's something you do not plan. But again, there are dreams that are influenced by the devil in the which is having. Whatever I'm doing today, it came fast as a vision than a dream. And I saw women seated down and was ministering to me. You never see your future without seeing it. You have to see it to have physical manifestation. So, sa kama unaona hile za nyuma, jiso zina hape. Once, ukiota kesho kiwa in your former school, tomorrow you lose the job. Dio rudi shule. According to the dream. Iko hivo. You will never move even in your ministry. You will never make a ninja. We should have given my kishwa for the kubwa. Kubwa wapi kama una dream is on my dream. But I remain happy. The first thing you know, the grace of progress, your dreams will change. Kapisa, utaanza kusema mama I dreamt being pregnant. Mama dreamt in this big company. I dreamt in the airport. Now you're going. There is somewhere you're going in the spirit, in the realm of the spirit. Mama, I came to the big wedding. You are going. But so long as you are dreaming yesterday, even what you are trusting God right now, it will be aborted by your covenant. So stop saying you are bewitched, Learn to set free yourself. Because you can. You can break those covenants. Remember you possess them with your heart, with your feet, and hearing. Remember this covenant, territorial covenant, you make them by stepping with your feet and listening to the environment. Hallelujah. So even physically, when you're not in the church, it's not just a church. You're making a covenant with the altar and the God of that territory. So if you don't like the territory that will hold you forever, don't step on something. We should step behind. For example, when we will talk, like in covenant, you go up or two in a control your heart, your life, and that's what we do. We don't when we walk out physically, we don't walk out spiritually. So we are held by so many covenant behind. Hallelujah! Stop those people who are dating you. They were good, but they are not there, my dear. They will make you a happy married woman. Watch, my friend. It's a decision you make. You know that person who was calling sweet good morning? They were so good, but they're not there. Break those covenants so that you allow God to occupy the, the space. Yes, that post was so good, that good. Could I to qualify a conspiracy who can lose a job? He is in the history. So that God can pay you back. <coughs> yes. There was a business you were doing so well. It's no longer there. Trust the God of tomorrow. And the leadership of the grace. That's what you need. Imagine if you make this prayer. Remember. In the middle of the night I had prayed. Because I knew. If I don't detach me from where I come. And the territorial covenant of my future. I will never make a covenant with my, my future. 
If you don't break this one, you'll never make a covenant with your future. You bring covenant to make a I mean, attack you could never be ever so big silly. You be a kid. She will come here, my friend. Majiras, 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 and in Suji Pend. Me a big ababa, but no, I don't know. I don't know because chapter close is closed. I mean, Mushikane, Mufanyane, Mupapasane, Mimi, move. See only happiness here. I had my chance. It's your time. Girl, be happy. Yes. And if I saw one of my girl of my former, she was she was not believing me. Congratulations, that man is so good, he's loving. She was not believing me. <laughs> because she was he was my man, now he's not believing me. When I'm good to the girl, she's not believing me. Because they are not those girls anymore. Mm. You know what are you feeling? My friend, see what let another girl be happy. You had your chance. Break that covenant to have your life. Yes, you had your time. Stop being silly. Ume occupy my covenant. So you break ya for you could jail a moon. Ea Ruth, ya boas. So Mufanya me kufa break that covenant. Allow the children to to have fun. Yes. Ata kuja kwa geta ha and then be happy. God bless you. I love you. Enjoy the day. I'm going to have my day. Amen. I had my time. Some of these covenants even we bind ourselves. We keep on becoming backward. Anyway, was you God has so much in store for you. You keep on clinging to your past. And you are building a spirit of backwardness. That's why you are not able to do it. You are not able to do it. You are not able to do it. good people and fold blessings of God. Amen. They are not even touched. Mm. They are not even touched. Mm. Good and great people are in the future, my friend. Yes. What you are doing, what you are doing, you are Yes. Na kama mtu ni wako wakupata nge mbele. Si we umurudie nyuma. Are you getting? Yes. Ati umurudi nyuma. Si ya kupate mbele. Hey, okay, okay, mwanane uku yuguru hema. He will handle you nicely anyway. Yes. Because ya mekupata juu. Yes. Lakini ya ukeenda nyuma ula kufani. Una ruku fani. Una ruku desperate. Yes. Hallelujah. So this covenant you can break and as well. You make up your mind. To detach from where you came from. Stop looking for options of your family, my dear. You have See, God has grace, can give you the grace of ownership. God can give you your own land. Amen. Amen. to clean. Wewe unashindwa kupigana na brother zako kwa sababu huko kwa nyumba ni wewe kusema. I don't like those sisters, they control where they come from. I don't like it. I don't like it. Where are my baby when like how how Matigi here? Leave them alone. So we are talking about one other one. Kwambia, enda wole. We see one kwambia. After that, two men is telling him the brother, sister to your brother, the wife to your brother, enda wole. Why are you coming Matigi here? You are upset. No wonder the husband. Either if you are married, you are not happy. Mm. Because you should detach. Yes. And if you are single, you never get married. Mm. Because you are not backwards. You mm. are not going to talk. You are not going leave their parents. Mm. Leave them spiritually. Amen. 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 When you are single, lady, yes. stop controlling where you came from. How to end there. When you are in the demons, you are not going to control. Mm. Now, you don't know where you are in the world. You are not going to talk. The source girls they were kusema. Kai, I remember you get the call. What? Mimi ni kiorewa ni kupata uko. Uni control, control and kwa banana. We control your brother. Ni my husband, still your brother. Hallelujah. Taku fudisha. Taku fix. Utaorewa bila kutaka. Yes, it's biblical to detach. Keep off from 
from your brother's wife, my dear. Tuwache, kai. Iyo poma siyako. Ni hawa meolewa. Na we enda kwe kuko, kusina kumeolewa, kontuko uko umeolewa. Uko ni kuwako. Uko sema, sema. Kwa nini useme kwenye umeolewa? Useme kwenye umeolewa. Ame upractice kwenda kusema kwenye umeolewa. Because the territory you covenant are controlling you, unawana kama ni nizahi. Even the man who wants you, they will never have you. You also own your people where you come from. Hallelujah. So we are going to deal with the spirit of backwardness with that kind of revelation. Nani wana dream na former things? How many? Raise your hands up. Sasa ata tukishida tukirilize the... Yeah, it's not a laughing. Ata tukishida tukishida receive a miracle. Receive a promotion. It will never be. I'm trying to tell you where we start. That's why Gideon and Rudy what? Nyumba. So tunafaa turudi nyumba. Where kama ni shule uitaje. Useme the covenant I made with you. This institution, you call it by name. I break the covenant. And I say this, leave my life alone. No. Yes. I'm no longer there. Oh, yes. I detach my mind, yes. my soul, my spirit. Yes. And I'm going to the city yes. where God yes. is a builder. Mm. No wonder why it's part of this. They can't control, they can't allow you. Yes. You want to grow, you have all the things, but you can't. Utazitaja, utajua kuomba maombi ya wafi. Hakuna mtu hapa amekuja kukuombe. Unasikia? Nika kupia tu guidance. Utaje, kama ni shure unaota na utaje. Kama ni kwenye kwa familia ya muirule kama mimi. Wewe, wewe, soil of muirule. Did I not tell you I don't have covenant with you? I break any covenant I made with you. And I share the altar speaking over my life in Jesus' name. I detach my mind, my soul, my dreams. My career, I detach from this covenant in Jesus' name. That's how we pray. You also pray for those formers when you want to call them. So I delete your phone. This is a simple thing you can do. What are you doing over here? You know, you are just doing. So it all is a little bit. They are spiritually and we detach. What are you doing? You are doing what is supposed to be said. What are you doing? So when you are doing what, you can detach. The nations are calling you. In the book of Jeremiah, God says, I call you for the nations. The nations will not open when these demons and covenants are still holding you. Some of you have done a degree. Hakuna mtu wa mekuhaya. Lakini wa utaka kweni ukifagia tu kwa paundi kweni. Ukuma five years, wino nukua na fagia. How can an institution call you for a job? Now, according to the realm of the spirit, you call Shagu. Yes. According to the realm of the spirit, you call Shagu. Ni mwili konsete tu. Na ujue mambo ina power stamp in the realm of the spirit. So, according to the realm of the spirit, wewe uko Shagu, ukichukua kuni na ukichota maji. Can you imagine? And here you are asking, God, what have I not done? I have tied. Eh, eh, eh. Tidai, aha, utaenda kwa Gideon. Uogereshe hiyo mchanga hiyo. Unani hiyo shago yenu. Hiyo territory of demons. Ya bie, achana na mimi. Lead my dreams. Lead my life. I detach you in the realm of the spirit. Any covenant I made without my knowledge. I'm coming to break. I come to divorce you. In Jesus name. Now, wacha, kama ukosigo wacha kushida kutaka kujua. Wali ogea nini? Hiyo miti ni ilikuwa kwa nyubani. Wako niita. Ufai kuitua. Ota itua kwa mwanako. Mwana. Detach even practically. Kwa kikosa kukuinuwa kwa na diyo mzuri. Wana kopia kwenda ukaolewe. It is spiritual. It's all right. Yati unakunda kasidika. Ati kweni wanaitana mtukutano na huko. It should be that. You should be there as a visitor, my friend. Stop controlling where you come from. Marijia kwa itawaka. Control where you are married. Uko kiyo hile covenant, uko nayo huko. Halilia. Hajua kuna hawa sana wenye wa mkutano yezi itano kama hawako. 
na wada your, your husband anaenda kutafuta bahari mwanamke anamuona ju wewe umeoni kwenu mm. ha spiritual wewe umeko kwenu sasa hii ingine ingine iko divorced in the realm of the spirit i don't know what you dream of whether is your former boss something former you not progress and i want us to rise on our feet sababu ni maombi ya kila mtu weka mbona kaa chini weka tu tutakuwekelea we shida ukikuja kuwekelewa mikono utawekelewa mikono some of us we you fight for your freedom i don't know him kwa na wini anawasaidia mimi i fought alone and you go to get tired ya kuchinda ukia pray job asikuje your former things utaenda wewe utarudi kwenu kama Gideon you don't need the song hii ni maombi ya kila mtu asha worshipers kama uko na demons kama unataka nations you open then after making those breaking those covenant institutions relationships aha uh-huh. in your family you know those you break those there there to die na kusema nini to introduce ourselves to the to the future hallelujah we don't want to mark time Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse i think 6 or, or 6 to 8 the bible text about the children of Israel mark timing the same mark are you not tired are you not tired if i made that prayer and i get quiet i told the devil i know you come to try the spirit of hell do no gaga this is the wrong number it's a prayer you continue praying you don't give up because the, the spirit of hell never give by that's why utaona watu wameenda juu 20 years they did not continue praying walirudisha tu kabisa mtu alikuwa na driver hata bus ya hapati ulirudisha kwa sababu you ignored this spirit of backward it is so stubborn iko stubborn kitu unafaa ku in your prayers every day you invoke it in every prayer in your life baka dream zako zianze kuona mambo ya chini then after kuomba hiyo prayer mungu akufungue macho uanze kuona vitu zako za kesho because his spirit inafanyaga ukue spiritual blind uonangi kesho yako so there is no way you are hopeless and you feel like you are suicidal mtu yeyote haoni kesho mpaka feel like dying why am i strong every day what god speaks to me about tomorrow i hope by god says do this god says to you you be this cool you you be this i feel so strengthened not because i have millions i'm seeing my tomorrow so this spirit of backward imagine hata nikikwambia mungu atakubariki na uza mama aisha kwa sababu hii kubariki huone wewe unaona kwenye ukifagia sasa ukiona nyuma when you see back you see your hopeless you feel hopeless isn't it this nothing in the future and we should increase according to genesis This is the covenant God gave us to increase to multiply and to be fruitful. But listen, those demons never allow us to be. That's why the children of Israel they could not enter Canaan because of those demons. The first generation. Come on. I want us to make a song. And then I want you to wait you. The covenant are breaking like you are going to say in the covenant I have made with you knowingly or unknowingly I break it by the power of the blood I break it by the power of the blood I break and denounce the covenant in the name of Jesus whosoever the son of God set free they are free I made a covenant with my mind I loosen the mind I made with my soul I made with my spirit I made with my being. Today I come like Gideon to break those covenants. Let me go so that I go to my destiny. And you have to say in prayer, let me go. I have a dream to accomplish. I have nations to go. My ministry has to go to the nations. My business has to go to the world. In the name of my career has to grow. Let me go. You can't hold me back. Again, I'm guiding you on how you're going to pray. And every one of us 
is going to pray. I see you pray. I see you pray, you wage war. The Bible says our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God. To the pulling down of the strongholds. You have to make, break those covenants. And then you make a covenant. A new covenant with your future. And you declare the very scripture that you know might say. For I know the plans I have for you. These plans God has kept for me. They have to unfold. Because my past has to leave me. Where I'm born, you have to leave me. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray.
you are stuck today. You are going to make this prayer together. When you are lifting your hands, you are lifting for your deliverance. You don't need to know what the Bible says. Where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. You don't need nobody. And if you pray this sincere prayer, you are going to realize some progress in your life. When you go forward, you don't need to ask God for a job. God, the future is going to unfold in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands, close your eyes, lift your hands high as you are talking to the Father. We invite the blood of Jesus. The Bible says that the blood of Jesus speaks better things about us than that of the blood. By the reason of the blood, that is where we get our freedom. And like give you the world to be free from our past, so that we can go to the future. In the name of Jesus. I want you to repeat this prayer. After me, say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Say Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Today, today, I come in your presence. I come in your presence. I believe my freedom. I believe my freedom. Is in the blood of Jesus. And by the reason of your nature, I shall be set free. I shall be set free. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I walk on you today. I walk on you. I walk on you today. I walk on you today. Because where the spirit of God is, there is liberty. We walk on the spirit of God. We walk on the spirit of God. We walk on the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. We walk on you. We walk on you. And today, in the covenant, I have ever made in my past, in my forefathers, today on this altar, I denounce it. I reject it. The covenant I made in my former school, in my former relationship, in my former working place, in my former life, in 
In the midst of me. In the altar. That have been speaking. Against my future. I silence you. In the altar in the past. In the words in the past. That have been dragging my life. In the altar. That was raised. By the witches. By the sorcerers. Oh! 
Let us make another prayer. The enemy, the Bible says, John 10:10. 10, 10, the enemy come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. You're going to tell him with authority in Christ through the blood of Jesus. The Bible says our warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God. So you're going to pray for your soul. So you're going to say, Satan, I command you to lose my mind, to lose my soul, to lose my spirit, to lose my feet, to lose my hands, to lose my dreams, lose everything you have touched. Because today I've already broken the covenant. I don't have any covenant with you. I am in the covenant of the blood. So tell the devil to lose because the Bible says, whatever we are going to lose here or not, it shall be loosed in heaven. Whatever you know the devil has held, lose my finances, lose my, my blessings. Now pray, pray. Shetan lose. Lose my life. Lose my life. Because I have an appointment with destiny. Lose my feet. Lose my hands. Lose my ministry. Lose my mind. Lose. Because today is my freedom. Today is my freedom. Lose my passion. Lose my life. I have to go. Let me go. Let me go. unfolding your tomorrow. You are going to be start marrying your tomorrow. Make covenant with your future. Today you come to make a covenant, to break the past covenant, to make your past, because the nations are calling. I don't know how you speak to yourself prophetically, but let me practice a little bit. You say, for example, you say, the blood of Jesus has set me free. And today I'm free from my past. I'm free from any covenant that I've ever made in the past. And today in Jesus' name, I came to make a covenant with my future. The Bible says you have future and a great future for me. Today I come to marry my future. I come to, to connect with my future. 
my tomorrow is great. My dreams will come true. My assignment will be accomplished. I'll become everything God has created me to be. Nothing shall sabotage. I will, I, I will live fulfilled. I will live to the fullness. I will, I will live fruitful. I will be productive. I will bear fruit. I will be progressive. Because today, I, I receive the grace to progress. I walk from one glory to the other. From one grace to the other. Anointing to anoint. One blessing to another. One door to another. One promotion to another. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for your tomorrow. Pray, pray, pray. Declare your tomorrow is great. Declare you shall, you shall be fulfilled. you are yesterday. You need to introduce your tomorrow. What are you calling for? That which was held. Now you are calling it for because you have already lost I want you to be prophetic. It's called prophetic prayer. You call for the nations that God promised you. Either in the whatever. If God talks about ministry and nations can be in terms of career can be in terms of business, can be in terms of, of, of ministry, depending on the assignment God has given you. So when God says I'm calling for the nations, it's what you are doing now, that the nations will open. You start calling the doors that were locked. If you're getting married, you call for the now, because now you are detached to your forefathers. Now you need to remarry in the realm of the spirit. You need to remarry your dream. You need to remind you, you have to appoint me to your destiny. Now call forth the nations. Call forth your dreams. I call for that which I was created to be. And you say, whatever I was created to be, it shall come to pass. I will live a purpose-driven life. Now pray for yourself. If you came to pray, pray. Call your dreams. Call the visa you came for. Call your marriage. Call for your, your, your future. I don't know what is your future. Shabriya, call if you don't need it. Call for your job. Call for those things who are held because of those dreams. You saw to somebody who saw him. Pick somebody of your choice and pray for them. Tell them, I call for whatever was held in the past. I call it forth. I call that job that was failed. The ministry, international ministries, call it forth. You see my hobby calling for that is a wage war. Call for see I'm gonna want to cause babu the wage war. The kazi unaza unaza lose the whatever was held. Can you do it? Pray, pray, pray. Za musadie call for dreams, assignment, the business, the finances. Call for.
Israelites a promise in Genesis chapter chapter 1 and verse 28. You shall multiply, you shall increase, and you shall remain. Come on, you shall multiply. Come, talk to him. You shall remain. You shall be fruitful. Pray for him. Pray for them. You shall be fruitful. No backwardness. You shall progress. You shall progress. You shall progress. In your business. In your career. You shall progress. You shall be fruitful. You shall increase. You shall increase. You shall go to the nations. You shall go to the nations. You shall be fruitful. You shall be fruitful. You shall increase. You shall not The doors of favor, the doors of connections. Speak to her. I speak open doors, financial doors, job opportunities. Now, all over this place, she pray for the vision. Both prophets and now pray for the queens. Tell queens, you are blessed. You are favored. You shall go to the nations. Pray. Pray for queens. Queens, I bless you. I speak of the gosh. You shall never be filled. You shall increase queens. Queens, you are blessed. Queens, you are favored.
so much.
Nyanja Okoka. In song, you cannot go sing this way without the Spirit of God. So he to naiba to kiwa to naenda biguni. To practice, to enda biguni. The Bible says there will be song and praises. Who is not born again? I want to pray for every sinner. Before you go to, to pray yourself to hell. You can sing yourself to hell. Who is not born again before we finish? You're about to finish. Praise is going to continue. But I package your offering as I pray for the sinners. Is there anybody who is not born again? Yes. Come on. Wow. Oh, yeah. The grace of the soul. Wow. We are waiting for you, somebody else. Somebody else. Polewe, Yesu ni taraja. Ebu bukanto, ukita. I'm not talking about going to church. I'm going to, I'm talking about somebody who never know their life and their names are written in the book of life. The joy we have today, we start by the covenant of the blood. So wait for somebody who does not know and they're not sure about their tomorrow. Our first progress is to see our Lord Jesus. You are here and you're not sure of your salvation. I'll be waiting for you. Somebody else? Somebody else? Hallelujah. Two souls clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. You're not clapping. You're not giving us. I said, Lord, give us a soul so that we can know we are going forward. In a meeting without a soul, is not assured of the presence of God. I believe in the winning of souls and to God be the glory. I want to pray for these beautiful girls. Where have you been all this while? We have been happy in the kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. Hold your hand on your heart. I want to pray for you. Close your eyes and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I've sinned against you. But today, I come on the altar to confess my sins. Please forgive me. Write my name in the book of life and direct it from the book of hell. Today I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth that Jesus, you are my Savior and you died for me on the cross. <coughs> Holy Spirit, fill me today and lead me to the ways of God in Jesus' name. Today I have made a covenant of the blood and I have denounced and rejected any other evil covenant in my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. I am born again. Christ is my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for receiving me back. In Jesus' name, amen. Precious Lord, we want to thank you. Because of giving us as a ministry in the harvest. Father, we thank you for all for these souls. Thank you for convicting them. They don't need a song when your grace is in the house. Thank you for saving them, God. They don't need a crusade when your grace is in here. Father, we thank you for these souls. You have kept us, oh God. May your grace keep them. May you keep them in this kingdom in the day of the Lord. This is a covenant I have with you. Any person I have birthed from my womb, they don't belong to the kingdom, to the kingdom of the devil. They will never backslide. They will never go back. For any time they are weary, become their strength. Become their shepherd. Praise them, Lord, with the grace of prayer. Because that is what you have given me. I release any one of my spiritual child the grace of prayer, the fear of God. They shall overcome every battle. 
They shall walk in favor. That is what you have given me. They shall walk in abundance. They shall walk in honor. That's what you've given me. They shall fear you in the secret, in the open. They shall hunger for God. And in true God, I made a prayer. I said, Lord, teach me how to love you. And you have taught me. I pray they will love you. I said they will love you from their hearts. They will love what you love. They will hate what you hate. I bless them today and declare. Because we have broken the spirit of backwardness. They will never go back. They will go forward. They will remain in this kingdom. Till the day of the Lord. There might be a battle in their life. They have come to this altar. I pray God that you have saved them. May you fight every battle in their lives. In Jesus name shout amen. 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 Welcome to the kingdom. You know shouting. You know shouting. revelation. The, the heaven stood still. Can you imagine? Any other operation is starting because of a show. Can you shout for me? my wow it's okay to have miracles but when you are taking people to God it, it, it is the stop of my call in the soul make me smile I meet next meeting yes uh, a sign that you have progress you win a soul and you come with her or him ah uh, ah uh, Ah, you win a soul. Yes. The next meeting, yes. you come and you say, This is the soul I won yes. this month. Yes. It will be a shine yes. of fruitfulness. Yes. Uh -huh. As a Christian, you need to be fruitful. Yes. It increase, yes. even increase in the kingdom yes. for souls. Yes. How many will win? Just a soul. A soul. Say, Lord, Lord, give me a soul. Give me, a soul. Give me the grace. Give me the grace. souls. souls. Next time, next, time. Next, meeting, next meeting, I'll have come, I will have come with, a with a soul. Just give me souls give me into, my into my hands. Because I have received the grace of fruitfulness. Because I've received the grace of multiplication. In Jesus' name. Say, I'll come with a soul. As a sign. I'm, I'm fruitful. I'm fruitful. I'm multiplying. I'm multiplying. I'm domineering. I'm domineering. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Are you happy? You've come to the end of the service. In a job of the ways yet, and I had a little mission. So you go who may receive grace of, of wealth. So I had a now and I do, and I said, My Lord, thank you for the grace to progress. This is what you're saying today. And I want you to go continue saying, Thank you, Lord, for the grace to progress. The grace to be fruitful. No more backwardness. No more stagnancy. You say that even in your matato, in your bus, wherever. You meditate. The Bible says, whatever you meditate, you shall possess. You shall not look back. So, sasa aja, anza kujenga vitu za? Za mbele. Usirudie kitu uliacha. Sawa? Kitu enye kuhuku usirudie. 
na kama una mtoto ushauri endea kwa grandmother hiyai lea mtoto wako yes. huo mtoto ana shida akikurudisha huko una lea mtoto wako kunywa maji na yeye au mama na yeye Mungu atako progress yes. this time of being kupeleka watoto nyumbani unless he saying hi ati unakaa na Nairobi anakaa huko you never progress kula chumvi na mtoto mshikana mtoto unamwambia twende tunaenda mami yes. tunaenda kwa grandmother ni kusalimiana yes. tulitoka huko tunaenda yes. hallelujah yes. hallelujah yes. are you blessed yes. we want to give our friend and one more thing mtakuja kesha yes. tarehe ngapi 20 20 mtakuja kesha Hai ya watoto wengi wameokoka. Ati tour of children in the Sunday school wameokoka. Hai hai. Hawa ni wazazi. Hawa ni wazazi. Mliombea watoto. I got born again when I was very young. Nilitamani Mungu niki. If you think it's a joke. If you think the seed of salvation has anything to do with the age, you are joking. It's about God arresting the soul. Yes. If your child tells you I'm born again, don't take a joke. He's born again. The seed of salvation is inside and the journey will continue. Mungu atamlisha. Hallelujah. So they are going to come here when you are meokoka when I blessing your children to go back to school. Isn't it? Then I release you. The other people is at 2019. Kesha please kuja tuombe. Kuja to deal na hawa mapepo one by one. Kuja to deal na tujifungue. Hana brought herself on the altar for freedom. Jileta kwa nyumba ya Mungu. Kama singejua kwenda kwa altar, singekuwa hapa. The next meeting come. Na kama unapenda winning of souls na kwenda missions. Huwa tunaenda missions, hospital ministry once a month. Register and tell myself you want to be coming for what? for missions once a month it will be the third week i think the kesha is the second friday please come una imagine hii maombi tumeomba hapa uombe every time let me tell you something when i tell you to hold is because the feed of this and this when they come together what you can conquer with, you can conquer with people it is called the power of associates don't you joke with the brethren holding their hands together usicheze si si kama vile ukipata yako that's why you hold our be on bend queens kama mume mume hold i know what i know because the prayer of 200 people is all the same as me alone so I, you have to be, to keep on believing that when you hold hands something is bargain so when two agree shall be done in heaven so when you're prophesying to somebody holding their hands something is happening it's only that you don't have fear come kesha kuja mission na ninawapenda sana anything else the may babies kuna keki yenu mubaki and the dorcas anybody who need food thank you dorcas give us thank you so much the ministry of touching the poor women come i give them unka they cry those tears May the Lord give you tears of joy every giver who make a woman to smile 200 shillings we give every Tuesday for Donkas basket we feed today we are feeding more than i think 60 families every Tuesday and Thursday there are women who come for food and it's not the offering it is the basket of Donkas i know you have been giving 50 shillings maybe 100 shillings maybe 1000 I want you to know that the way God remembered Dorcas and Tabitha when she was dead God never forget when you touch a poor person. Thank you because a hundred bob may not feed your family but it is feeding somebody because a hundred plus a hundred is feeding so many families. Thank you for making my vision to come true. I was doing this alone I got take 1000 shillings on Christmas and go to slums 
and just visit two families. And I was telling God, you are going to enable me to do much. Today, I am doing much because we are progressing. So your 50 shillings don't see a CV small. Every Tuesday, tell yourself, I will drop something for Dorcas. And in my God, Psalms 41 and verse 1 to 3. Even in my sick bed, you shall remember me. Because somebody fed their children because of me. Thank you. Sometimes I find women on the streets. They don't have anywhere to live. Through the Dorcas, I'm able to feed them. And take a, maybe a single room and take them somewhere to sleep. The power of associates. I cannot have done that alone. The other woman came and told me, Mom, and she came. Thank you for being a mother. Thank you for helping me to love the poor. It's the heartbeat of God. Today, somebody will go home with a packet of hunger because of you. So every Tuesday, and verse 1 to 3, read it anytime you feed a poor. And then that word become reality in your life. Hallelujah. You have made me, this is a fulfilling two ministry in my life. The touching of the poor, the winning of souls. I love it with everything in me. Thank you a million times. And maybe some of you didn't know you continue doing it. God bless you so much. I love you and I'll pray for you. Somebody says, everybody say, I pray for you. I do pray for you. This meeting I pray that I know. People will progress. Amen. And this is a meeting I was asking God, Kai, this is Barashi Okira Roshini, that God has a number us to finish strong in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, June. Is it May, baby? Raise your hands. I want to pray for every baby in May. Just stand, stand. It's a very prophetic month. Father, we thank you for May, baby. We bless them the month of May. It is a month of grace. I pray what labor could not do, the grace will do. As we sing happy birthday, you're giving them a new, a new, a new year, we bless them. We bless them to be fruitful, to walk in favor, to walk in abundance. Lord, we pray that those that could not open before, they'll start a new chapter of progress in their lives. Protect them against disease, the sickness, and, and the infirmity. I bless them. Their new age and crash Satan. This is their month. This is their year. They will testify because I make a special prayer to them. May grace break protocols in your life. May grace provide for you what labor could not provide for you. Happy birthday and God bless you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I want to give happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Queen. Happy birthday, happy birthday, baby, 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 baby
lakini kama unainua tu usiogope quiz we are free wewe utaleta tu hadi shit your comfort kama una inua kabisa mpaka u receive take it a beautiful carida hata usinde ukiangalia uko ndani angalia jitu juu ina upako ishida ukienda huko kwingine Inua ingine huyu mwingine hapa. Can you do faster? You are so many up there, guy. Ash. Si mfanye haraka, mtu mmoja anafanya one area, guy. Ruth, can you give out the other side, the other person to give? Can you one more thing, guy? Inua mpaka upate. You are so many you don't divide duties, guy. Your girl is cabesh. Huyu anatoka huko ndiye anaenda huko. Umemaliza? Kuna mwingine mama hapa. Inua kabisa mpaka upate. Umepata? Kuna mwingine hapa. Everybody has a card and you can buy for your sister and for your enemy. Yes. Love your enemies. What is happening here? Make it clear. Nani wameokoka? Nani ameokoka? Gai mwana wako anaoka ni yake. Maondoka kwa mbele. Ujeni hapa. Wote washi wameokoka mara ya pili. Ujeni, ujeni. Nitoleeni hizi vitu, please. Me baby is mko na keki, usiende usiniachie mkeki. Somebody make a cake for you. Please share the cake. To encourage the person, then you may go back. Put your hand on the other side. Sit down. You may go back. No one will get you there. Put make it easy. On the other camera. Do you want me to go back? Camera. Camera. Why you may go back? Oh, everybody is born again. Uh huh. Put your hand Aya, kinyawa wa wa kwa bendi na nyawa. Wana wakokanga kila siku. Hata mimi nilikuwa hivyo. Tazaa kuombea. Lift your hands. Everlasting Father, we pray. Let's pray for our children. They are going back to school. Whether ako hapa ama hako hapa. Women mzazi, please make a prayer, protect them. Pray, let us pray for our children. Give us kama hako hapa muombee, tunaombea watoto wakirudi shule. Father, we commit our children to you, God. We bless them tonight, Lord. I release them under your covering, O oh Lord. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you shall watch over our children. Surround them with the canopy of your glory. I pray for their parents, O oh God. They shall not lack the school fees. I pray for provision. I pray for divine help. Lord, protect and watch over them. As they go back to school next week, they are covered by the blood of Jesus. They are marked by the mark. The angels are in charge. I speak the wisdom of God, the fear of God, the God recursion, and your encounter. I bless them and speak a covering over these children and anyone of our children, oh God. We dispatch them under your covering. Oh God, when they travel to the bus, to the buses, the long and short distance, as they start a new time, Jehovah, we commit them to you. We pray for their mind. They shall examine. They shall walk in wisdom. We pray for protection. We pray for whatever they are going to eat. It is sanctified. No food poisoning. No incident, no accident. Their dreams shall come true. They shall excel and prosper academically. Our children are blessed. Our children are favored. Our children are preserved. No evil will come near the dwelling of our children. Father, we bless them and we soak them in the pool of thy precious blood. Keep them safe to the day of the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go back. 
Oh, when you are there, God bless you. When you bandu and attack our total Mugua Bariki, Niki Barua Mugua Bariki, how many are sick? Tutakua, Tutakua Grandma, Tawanesha Kunyonia, Nakuri or Siku, the Badu or Siku open midnight. Mukiriania, I want to make a covering over your life. Father, we thank you as we come to the end of the service. Backward we are not going. We thank you because from today we have made a covenant of forward and progress. We thank you for the grace of progress. We thank you that our tomorrow is great. We thank you because of the grace of fruitfulness for increase and multiplication. I bless every person who was in this service. Father, I pray the seed and this work will not drop in vain. Every pass of this word will be perfected. Yes. It will be manifested. Yes. Father, I pray there will be manifestation of this word. Yes. Father, I pray this meeting, yes. it will shift us to the next level. Yes. This meeting will repackage us. Yes. This meeting will introduce us yes. to the nations. Yes. A special grace has been raised. Yes. We are no longer going to the same situation. Yes. We are no longer stagnant. Yes. Father, we thank you. I release us under your covering. Yes. I speak the grace of God. Yes. I bless our feet, oh God. Yes. That from today, yes. our feet will make progress. Yes. Our hands are blessed yes. to create well. Yes. I release the ears to hear God. Yes. The grace of God yes. to help us know yes. where you need us to be. Yes. Jehovah, I release the grace yes. to do the assignment. Yes. The grace to pray. Yes. The grace for miracles. Yes. I pray out of this meeting, yes. miracle shines on us, yes. shall follow us. Yes. I pray for favor yes. to each one of us. Yes. Favor with God yes. and with the man. Yes. I pray as the parents yes. are taking back to school. Yes. You are provided yes. because grace will provide yes. every need. Yes. Thank you because out of the church, yes. prophetically I pray yes. for God's help. Supernatural ability, yes. supernatural ability, yes. supernatural ability yes. in every avenue. Yes. Say, I receive, I receive. supernatural ability supernatural in every area, area. of my, my life. I receive the grace for, for, for progress. For progress. And, I and I declare the grace will provide, grace will provide all, that all that I need from today. May the grace teach me how to lean on grace and how to obey where grace leads. Help me, God. Help me, Jesus. May your grace lead me. May your grace lead me in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the grace. Now hold your friend and say goodness and mercy. Uh -uh. Look at her and tell her. You know what is goodness? Of your life. I repeat it. The goodness of her. I've talked to her with a revelation. Goodness. And mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. And we lift your offering. Father, we thank you for our offering. Thank you for the opportunity to give. We bless you, God. To every dog cast give a Lord. May their bosom never dry. May their cup never dry. To every tither, may tither's blessing become reality. To every offering, I pray that God, thou not lack anything. The God I serve will provide every need. Receive our giving. And Lord, we thank you for the grace of more than enough. We receive the grace of more than enough. Receive our offering and we receive our harvest. 
Now say with me. God receive my offering. God receive my offering. And I receive my harvest in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Why is the darkest? When you make a carida, which you weigh in number 0724, Unaid 93631. When you get the 200 shillings, you drop. Where is Harida? Where is the darkest? for the offering. No, please, if, if you give me M-Pesa, nileta yomba hasha, nita yombea, please. Ata kama utaraiti kwa M-Pesa, niandikie bahasha your details. <coughs> right? To watch on a doctor's people, na happy birthday people. Ita kwa happy birthday. Nebu anisha. Ita kwa happy birthday. 